नमस्ते जय हिंद बिगिनिंग एनीथिंग न्यू इज ऑलवेज एक्साइटिंग एज वेल एज चैलेंजिंग द ए एन आई पॉडकास्ट हैज कंप्लीटेड अ हंड्रेड एपिसोड हियर्स अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ दो हंड्रेड एपिसोड सो फार लेस देन अ यर सो मेनी वंडरफुल गेस्ट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्वर्सेशन थैंक यू फॉर बींग पार्ट ऑफ दीज पॉडकास्ट बाय वॉचिंग लिसनिंग सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड सेंडिंग इन योर सजेशंस our podcast team will endeavor to bring into our studios people who matter who give back to society who have interesting things to share with us i hope with your love and support we will continue to achieve new milestones so namaste and jai hind happy watching is it also a message that you're sending out to the other political the non bjp parties that uh, uh, that you know that you are or your party is the one which is going to be leading the yes, fight against yes 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 y e s yes okay we are not going to play poodle anymore hmm. opposition unity without a strong congress is not possible so far the congress has given more than what it has taken in any coalition agreement coalition means Give and take. Coalition is compromise. I'm sorry to say that many parties, like-minded parties, have grown at the expense of the Congress. Congress has to be strong. If you're asking me, are we doing this uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra for opposition unity? Answer is no. We are doing it for strengthening the Congress party, which we believe will be in the benefit of opposition unity if and when this opposition unity no, no. moves take. concrete yeah. shape in the run up to 2024 right if not, and when yeah. but that's not at the back of our mind jo mahatma gandhi ke liye logo ka jo view tha ohi view congressi logo ka ye gandhi family ka upar ho gaya who started it how started it i don't know but they did it very successfully so, or they did it or party did it whatever. let me be fair but when you moved complete change wahan pe bhi hai when you are at the even you read the resignation letter of gulam nabi azad even uh. you read my resignation letter in 2015 the first two paragraph will look like a very very sad picture uh. that you don't want to come out jese ghar se aap maa se aapko bida lena padega then silently last paragraph we will see anyway we have taken that decision uh. but we will be always will be loyal to you like that you will write because till that time you will be in congress वहां से जब नेक्स्ट दुनिया में आ जाते हो हाँ. पहला कल्चरल शौक हो जाता है भाई ये भी है आई विल टेल यू ए स्मॉल स्टोरी ऑफ पेमा खांडू एंड मी बीजेपी में हम लोग ज्वाइन किया देन उड़ीसा पार्टी नेशनल कन्वेंशन था हम लोग पहला दफा पार्टी का कार्यकारिणी में गया हमारा बीजेपी का कार्यकारिणी में क्या होता है कि जब लंच डिनर होता है यू जस्ट सीट लाइक दैट आई मीन यू कैन सीट विथ पी एम ऑल्सो यू कैन सीट विथ एच एम ऑल्सो इफ यू सी इन लेफ्ट हैंड इट इज निर्मला सीतारमन राइट हैंड यू विल सी पीजूष गोयल देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू विल सी अमित शाह जी आई मीन इट इज लाइक दैट तो मुझको पेमा खान दो आई बताए दादा ये क्या साज है ये हम लोग क्या देख रहा हूँ मैं बोला पेमा भाई क्या है बोले देखिए दादा ये लीडर लोग हमारे साथ ऐसे मिल रहे हैं जीवन में तो हम लोग कांग्रेस में रहा कभी तो नजदीक में भी जाने का मौका नहीं मिला डिड यू थिंक दैट द कैनेडियन रिस्पांस इज जस्ट एन एनोडाइन रिस्पांस व्हिच दे डू एवरी ईयर और एडवाइजरी एवरी ईयर दैट ओ ओके लाइक आई सी द कैनेडियन रिस्पांस टुडे इज क्लियरली अ रिस्पांस टू आवर रिस्पांस आई सी आई हैव स्पोकन टू मेनी कैनेडियन ऑफिशियल्स अबाउट वेयर वी आर एंड सो दे पुट दिस लाइन टू अस टू मी एट लीस्ट दैट you know we really want to uh, get rid of these elements as well mm-hmm. we want to get rid of these elements we would like a little more inf- information evidence from india so uh, it struck me then that they were sounding exactly like the pakistan yeah <laughs> because the dossier dossier the, game we used, used to play <laughs> we used to play the uh, you have my dossier i have my your dossier yeah. your dossier is thinner than mine mine is fatter than yours and everybody and uh, the pakistanis used to say even then give us more evidence yeah. give us more evidence that lashkar e taiba operates out of my country uh, so we went through this entire cycle with pakistan for years and uh, it seems to me that you know it is a strange in a strange way uh, yeah. th- we are having a, a sort of a re- replay of that uh, thing 
you've talked about what BJP does wrong or what the BJP government does wrong at the center uh, or even the right wing does wrong. What about these single man band parties, right? The, all these regional parties, so-called regional, they're actually single man band. But in spite of that, they get elected. Isn't that a little bizarre? No, but you know, you'll be surprised. Mamta Banerjee has a very strong brand within Bengal. Hmm. <coughs> Sharad Bavar is seen as the great Maratha. Hmm. But you're right. These are not pan-national parties. You know, ironic as it may sound, the only pan-national party Congress, is, led, is led by a guy who's better off sitting in a boat which he never has to row. Hmm. And no pun intended on that snake ladder boat. But that's the tragedy. Yeah. The tragedy is that that is the only pan-national party. Right. The others are parties which fight elections because they have funds. The other person you have to watch out for, because as my grandmother would use a word for him, he's a misna, is Arvind Kejriwal. That is such a Punjabi thing to but say. She was Punjabi, as yeah. I am too. <laughs> okay. He is the biggest misna that you have to watch out for, for hmm. two reasons. Number one, he's obviously got money. Hmm. And now he's got two states under his belt. He understands the game. He has plied certain sections of the media with lots of advertising money. Yeah. And, you know, that's what, you, what you've got to be worried about. Because he understands the game that is being played qua the media. Mm. And you rightly mentioned, how irresponsible has the liberal media been in the most recent reportage on Bhagavat Man? Mm. There's been complete radio silence. Why? Because they applied with advertising money. So the question that then needs to be asked, Smita, is... As Kushro Irani famously said of the statesman many years ago, he says the press in India is as free as it chooses to be. You or Sita Ramji or anybody who's been working towards an opposition unity for now over five years, I think, if I'm not wrong, is to get KCR, Sharad Pawar, Mamta, Akhilesh, uh, Mayavati, all of them to get together and say, OK, let's make Congress as a stronger party to take on the BJP. So let's do this. I'm not very optimistic, hmm. but I that does not mean that it's not doable. I, let me give you two examples. 1977. The opposition was rudderless. I mean, there were leaders of different parties. There was yeah. an old man sitting in Sadakat Ashram in Patna who woke up and yeah. became a cementing glue for an opposition. I'm not saying it was a very successful experiment, but it was good enough to decimate the Congress party post the emergency. Let us take another example, which seems even more invincible. Rajiv Gandhi comes hmm. in 84 with 404 MPs. I mean... He seemed to be there forever. Yeah. And in 87, eight people meet in a drawing room in Delhi. And out of nowhere, a VP Singh emerges. A middle class messiah to take on. Yes, yeah. I got so I'm, I'm not that. saying I'm not saying it will happen. And let me not for a moment devalue the popularity of Narendra Modi ji. Hmm. He is right now undoubted a there towering this... political figure in the left in India has its own problems because they've, uh, if you were a lefty, they would promote any mediocrity. So what's happened is that all you need to do to become a serious public intellectual in India is talk left-wing garbage. Left-wing, they validate each other. Even if they don't yes. agree with each other, yes. they validate, right? Exactly. When we talk about authors in the left-wing, at some point of time, there were these right-wing authors, columnists, writers, journalists who you know, disliked Modi, so they become left-wing. So you hit the nail on the head. There is no left-wing and right-wing in India. There is the gravy train wing and there is the anath wing. What you call the left-wing in India is actually highly privileged pricks who essentially create a, I'm sorry to use this word, but a circle jerk of each other providing validation. Oh, this is the new upcoming scholar of India. It is the gravy train wing. They've been brought up on state largesse. So the it's, right wing doesn't provide the gravy for mm, the gravy train. Mm, mm, mm. So there's no narrative. That's mm. what you're saying. Correct. I've seen you all. I've seen you. I've seen Arnab. I've seen Rahul Shiv Shankar. So I've known all of you to 20, 25 years and worked with all of you. And now I'm seeing you all juggling with each other. Why is it on air? Why are the fights on air? Why not why not off air? I personally don't think that dirty linen should be washed in public. That's that's where I come from. Arnab is somebody who actually got me into television. And I've always admitted it. Hmm. You know, he got me into television. I would never have explored this 
लैंडस्केप इफ इट वॉज एंड हिज परसिस्टेंस फॉलोइंग मी एंड इट वॉज हिज फोन कॉल इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू नो दैट गॉट मी यू नो माई डिफेंस इज लो एंड द मीटिंग हैपन एंड द रेस्ट एज दिस इज हिस्ट्री एंड आई हैव लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम हिम बट समवेयर अलॉन्ग द लाइन आई डोंट नो वाई देर इज देर इज समथिंग दैट ही हैज इन हिज माइंड ही इज नेवर शेयर्ड इट समथिंग इज बीन बिल्डिंग अप देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ बाइल इन देर ना वाई शुड इट बी ऑन टेलीविजन इफ देर इज अ पर्सनल बाइल देन इट कैन बी डन यू अब्यूज अ ब्रांड द ब्रांड बिलोंग्स टू अ ग्रुप विच इज अ हंड्रेड एंड एटी ऑड योर ग्रुप यू कांट ना इट्स नॉट अ फ्री रन फॉर एवरीबडी इट शुड लक्ष्मण रेखा की अगर बात होती है तो लक्ष्मण रेखा हर तरफ से मेनटेन होनी चाहिए you know many of your tv debates where you uh, speak about uh, foreign media having agenda when it comes to india you know doing agenda journalism uh, in it and you've often said that indian journalists or indian journalism has to rise up to this challenge and we have to have a global voice uh, do you still believe that india hasn't managed to have that as yet as yet we don't have it um we've been insular we've yeah. been we've been insular and private news organizations have not uh, crossed the rubicon you know there's always that moment of indecision on whether you're going to cross the rubicon you know historically when you take this metaphor from roman times it's all about that moment of decisiveness whether you realize that you want to get out of the comfort zone in which you are and then move into an uncertain territory and i do know that the bbc will not be able to survive the day uh, british taxpayers don't give money as part of their forced license fees these are hugely subsidized organizations can you imagine the disproportionate clout that the united kingdom gets because of the bbc oh yes <laughs> it's disproportionate to its economy to everything and i think we need to think about that as a country i remember that one incident when this um stand up artist came and harassed you on the flight mm. and you just did not react huh. how did you get that equanimity because i was watching a very interesting film called two popes i never get the time hmm. to watch a film and if you am very honest very often people want to interact with me on the flight so the first thing i do is put on my headphones and i watch a film hmm. it's also allows me to introspect so i had just begun watching a film and uh, i thought there was a condition the individual had and and i felt that it is not my job it is the job of the security people there to do it and i felt it that thought he was shouting at someone else and and truly to be very honest with you i had my headphones on i like to watch at like if there's a scale of 0 to 100 i watch it about 90 so my he- volumes are high i cut off yeah. and i watch the film i did not realize much about this whole episode till i actually landed just a layman's way of uh, asking you that uh, somebody a child can uh, can uh, probably have an attention uh, deficit kind of a thing is that related when the child is born they have in the immediate postpartum period they have bronchiolitis so which is the equivalent of asthma in children all the time we are saying that these days children are becoming very naughty they are very hyperactive right. that actually is inflammation of the brain now it is known that these pollutants go to the brain and they cause neuro inflammation which initially manifest itself as hyper a uh, active child or attention deficit disorder and later on it has been shown to reduce the iq levels also tell me what has been your learning curve uh, during you know this the alpha wave the delta wave and now uh, post that i think the one lesson that we got is that you can be dependent on processes but not people mm-hmm. and that is where actually automation and technology really actually made its way through the front door dr gupta i'm sure there is no work life balance that you have you <laughs> as a pediatrician i'm sure you need to be available or you are available to your patients i will me. say that i'll spoiled my whole life if i talk uh, if i try to follow and <laughs> i didn't follow even 1% 1% of that but what i would like to say 60% of curriculum should be removed from medical science like for a ambibs doctor why i need to find out what is happening in the cell on under the microscope when i am not going to chase uh, histopathology as my curriculum right hmm. 
सो दिस टाइप ऑफ अननेसेसरी बर्डन ओवर ए ब्रेन ब्रेन इज ब्रेन राइट राइट इट हैज गॉट लिमिटेशन वी शुड ट्राई नॉट टू ओवर टेस्ट इट वॉट इज द लाइफ ऑफ अ स्पेशल फोर्सेज ऑफिसर मैम दे आर अ डिफरेंट ब्रीड फर्स्टली द मोस्ट मोटिवेटेड हाईली क्वालिफाइड एंड IQ and thinking, of course, is everyone's because you come through the SSB, you come through the psychology test, but they are motivated to the core. What is the mental preparation that goes into a special forces person like this, who knows that he may not come back home? Ma'am, it's a again I'll put it that way. It's a training, and second is the body system. The three things which are very important in any soldier: confidence in himself, confidence in his commander, and confidence in his weapon. if out of these three things one is not up to it soldiers morale the confidence will go down so tell me you left um, congress also because of something which happened which was very toxic uh, it was like it it just seemed that it was boiling and boiling and boiling yes. and that was the watershed moment that definitely was the watershed moment for me because i did feel that uh, certain things were not just going right i have stood very strongly about uh, women's rights and women's issues and when you as a political party are talking about women and how women have to be heard etc then you have to prioritize that you cannot uh, you know think have two thoughts about it for outsiders or insiders right what you speak outside should be applicable within the party what happened was in a, in, in in a particular month uh, some people were suspended but they were brought back during the election time and uh, that i thought was the r park ya thing that if you take a stance now for me hmm. agar main relevant hu you will listen to me aur inka jo galat hua hai wo galti aap sudharenge then do it said election ke liye wo zyada zaruri hai to election ke liye wo zaruri hai mere liye ye zaruri hai to main nikal hi padti hu so i i resign at least till uh, mid 2000s hamesha kaha jata tha ki congress ka gadh hai north east nah. बीजेपी कभी इनरोड नहीं कर पाएगी देर वॉज नो वे एंड बीजेपी वॉज एंट इवन अटेम्प्टिंग टू टिल यू नो रिसेंटली इन फैक्ट बट अब तो लाइक इट्स लाइक कम्प्लीटली इट इज बीन इट्स बीजेपी ऑल द वे तो वो इतनी जल्दी कैसे बदल गया यूजली इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर चेंज टू अकर इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया हकीकत तो यही है कि कांग्रेस ने बहुत बड़ा धोखा दिया नॉर्थ ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट की लोगों ने बहुत विश्वास किया था कांग्रेस को इसलिए बार बार उन लोगों सत्ता में बैठाया था अलग अलग परिस्थिति में उन्होंने जैसे ही नॉर्थ ईस्ट को धोखा दिया नॉर्थ ईस्ट की विकास की बदले उन्होंने नॉर्थ ईस्ट को भ्रष्टाचार दुर्नीति से काफ़ी नुकसान पहुंचाया और साथ साथ में उन्होंने नॉर्थ ईस्ट को डिवाइड एंड रूल पुलिस के जरिए उन्होंने कमजोर करके रखा नॉर्थ ईस्ट को कभी भी एक साथ जोड़ने के लिए उन्होंने मौका नहीं दिया कभी भी नहीं दिया विद रिगार्ड टू पाकिस्तान ऑल द टाइम यूजिंग दिस न्यूक्लियर बटन एज अ बिग थिंग दैट हम अपने आप को उड़ा देंगे एंड देन देल बी डिस्ट्रक्शन इन द एंटायर रीजन और द सब कॉन्टिनेंट और बियॉन्ड यू नो दैट इज प्रोपरगेडाइकोशिकॉकिस्तान do going for this kind of nuclear brinkmanship they are on a precipice they could fall either way either embrace democracy see that the success that it's had in countries around them and embrace that or else go into a state of chaos like afghanistan has done what do you see uh, gorav what do you see happening smita it's uh, pakistan is not a normal country pakistan will continue to exist in some form or the other truncated balkanized or otherwise or otherwise but pakistan will never be normal they'll keep on limping be this country will keep on being on ventilator from one year to the next to the next sometimes the americans will give money now shahbaz sharif went and he got some money from the chinese and then he got some money from the saudis and now he started this whole tamasha about climate justice and he's saying iske bhi ji paise de do thode se you know there's this movie na shole hmm wo viru tanker ke upar chada rehta hai na hmm. ki agar meri uh, basanti se shaadi nahi kari to phir uh, haija ho jayega gaon mein log mar jayenge agar maine suicide kar liya to that is pakistan सिटिंग ऑन द वाटर टैंकर ड्रंक एंड टेलिंग द वर्ल्ड कि हमारे पास न्यूक्लियर वेपन है बॉस अगर हमें पैसा नहीं दिया तो फिर तुम देखना क्या होता है एंड देव बिन डूइंग इट सक्सेसफुली देव बिन ब्लैक मेलिंग द वर्ल्ड एंड द वर्ल्ड इज बिन गिविंग द मनी डू यू थिंक दैट द बीजेपी इज ओवर स्टेपिंग इन इट्स 
you know fear that uh, rahul gandhi is doing this yeah doubts of fear they understand what's rahul gandhi's capacity and wo kin states mein ja rahe hain jahan bjp ka karnataka ko chhod ke koi bahut bada stake nahi hai i think congress is trying ki hum apni 70 seat le aaye the states where we were powerful that's why he's not even charting out to the states where jahan ki presence nahi hai so i think it's good for rahul gandhi ki wo apne states ko consolidate kar rahe hain so that they can come to some respectable number isko bula sake okay i am the umbrella come and gather under this umbrella i think that's the attempt and which is partly getting fulfilled do right? you agree yeah. sanjeev ji dekhiye main to manta hu ki unka padyatra karne ka jo maqsad hai usse kitna wo rajneet ko prabhavit karenge ye itihas aur samay batayega par chunav ke parinam ko kitna prabhavit karenge ye mujhe is pe bada shanka hai most women don't like theek hai na working men ab both of them like for example jo uh, youth nahi soche agar hum soche jo work place mein hai subah 7 baje nikalte hain kaam pe aur 8 9 baje se pehle ghar aate nahi hai ab waqt kaam milta hai ki gym jaye ya fir koi exercise kare unke liye kya kar sakte hain i think uh, sabse pehli baat to hum logo ko ye samajhna padega ki fitness is a lifestyle main pehle bhi bolta hu हम ब्रश करना नहीं भूलते हम नहाना नहीं भूलते हम खाना भी नहीं भूलते हम सोना नहीं भूलते तो हम एक्सरसाइज करना क्यों भूल जाते हैं क्योंकि अभी तक हमें एक्चुअली में नहीं पता चला व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ नॉट बॉडी बिल्डिंग फिटनेस व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फिटनेस इन आर लाइफ जिस दिन जिसको समझ में आ गया वो शूज भी पहनेगा वो ट्रैक सूट भी पहनेगा वो टी शर्ट भी पहनेगा और वो बाहर वॉक नहीं करेगा वो दौड़ लगाएगा पार्क में and i've seen senior women journalists also commenting on attire of women journalists <laughs> and you know it it's hurtful and women get it more a lot of these rules apply only to women hmm. we are supposed to look a certain way we are supposed to uh, um if we are uh, too soft and smile too much uh, then we are diffident if we are too aggressive then we are rude there's never a good fit aap sabko khush to kar hi nahi sakte I think over the past few years one by one I've thrown all the rules out of the window. I want to wear jhumkas with a jacket I will wear it. You don't like it don't watch it. But whose definition of presentable is it? And what what is good? I'm going to read out sir and then you can tell me whether right or wrong or you want to confirm or deny. He says Bakshi that's you uh is with a unit in Ladakh. where his job is to count snow jackets and mind you what i'm reading out is there in pakistani websites also because they were very interested to know ki tsd wale kahan kahan posted hai to unke dark web mein har jagah ajit's article has been posted as to where all you people were located as soon as the tsd they were darte the aap se ha darte the main aapko ek kissa batau darne ka ha bataiye aap hi ki ek journalist hai wo do baar murid ke gayi thi and she only told me thi to pehli baar gayi hogi fir dusri baar jab gayi to hafiz said son in law was kind of you know taking her around in the murid gain suddenly he says you remember there was so and so bhai who was the managing the camp earlier she says ha kya hua bolo unki fauth ho gayi fauth in urdu is mauth ho gayi bole kaise ho gayi bole tsd walon ne maar diya itna khauf tha mara aapne kya cheez mara aapne kya us bande ko usne bola पर किया क्या आपने उसने बोला अच्छा ओके तो इतना खौफ था अब आगे आप कुछ पूछ रही थी राइट मैम यू ट्राइड यू नो यू ऑलवेज बीन कनेक्टेड विद द पीपल ऑफ दिस सिटी इंडिया अगेंस्ट करप्शन वाज वन you know where you just felt very seriously that corruption is breaking the back of this nation and we will not be able to move forward tell me about your experience in that i went for a cause cause was met because we did successfully achieve exposure of the extent of corruption which was prevailing at that time mass corruption we successfully exposed it to the extent and media took on and explained it very well and we also lobbied for uh, the lokpal bill at that time we did get the act finally but without enough teeth etc that came in later but we did we could put the issue on the table straight away and made it a national imagination and national dialogue i think i fulfilled my role as a citizen of the city as a, because if i had not joined then i could have regretted later 
that that time while I speak a lot on television etc jab challenge aaya to tu you chickened out it was in the 2008 mumbai terror attacks that most people in india woke up to the fact that uh, india has been a laggard what do you have to say about how india has dealt with terror since 2008 I I don't want to say about India but I can say that our cooperation India and Israel cooperation counterterrorism as I said before is very wide very developed uh, from intelligence gathering to special forces to reaction forces to everything we are working quite in, in, intimately together and I believe that uh, what happened then probably uh, will be more complicated to execute today in the same manner uh, that attack will hopefully uh, next time god forbid things like that happen uh, the ability of turk of of india to to foil or to will will be better i jab aap chai bana rahe the koi khas cheez thi kya jo log aate the se ya fir apna pan tha iski isliye aate ab chai mein kya alag karoge kya hi alag karoge adrak dal lo kya hi alag koi adrak kon nahi dal raha tha to main yahi bolta tha ki aap chai mein aisa kya dal do sab puchte hain ki thoda doodh thoda pani thodi shakkar thodi chai patti aur thoda khud ko dal leta Hmm. मेरी बातों की मिठास वाह बहुत खूब मन क्यों आपको चाय वाला सिर्फ बातें करते कहाँ दिखेगा इतना और अच्छी बातें करते मैं पॉलिटिक्स पे बात करता था नेशनल न्यूज पे इंटरनेशनल पे स्पोर्ट्स पे यू नो आप काउंसलिंग करने लग गया वाइट बोर्ड लगा दिया अगर किसी को जॉब चाहिए तो लिख दो भाई यहाँ पे एक दूसरे से कनेक्ट हो जाओ क्या एक मंच जरूरी होता है बिकॉज मेनी टाइम्स वीमेन आर टोल्ड तुम गाती हो घर में गाओ ना स्टेज की क्या जरूरत है मंच की क्या जरूरत है श्रोताओं की क्या जरूरत है इज इन दिस इनफ दैट यू कैन सिंग सिंग एट होम इसके दो बातें हैं इसमें दो पक्ष हैं पहला तो ये है कि स्टेज से बड़ा गुरु कोई नहीं है मंच सबसे बड़ा आपको शिक्षा देता है ताली गाली मिलना दोनों जरूरी है hmm. मंच आपको बताता है क्योंकि वो आपकी प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड वही तय करता है इट टीचेज यू to decide what to sing this is aapne soch rakha hum ye gayenge janta to kuch aur mood mein hai presence of mind timing aap kuch soch ke gaye agle ne kaha nahi nahi wrap up kariye ya kaha nahi abhi aadha ghanta aur gaiye to you know manch ki demand because there are people who don't know you they have come to listen to you manch will tell you whether people are with you or not manch will teach you to manage a show because at times sound will not be up to your expectations your musicians will not be in sync or you may be facing a rowdy crowd or maybe too serious a crowd you never know so manch stage is so essential for any artist to to become a complete artist you have to have to experience that and to become a greater artist a great artist you have to experience stage at a very young age Have you noticed, doctor, that we've all been told not to scowl, not yes. to feel, or not to give the impression also? It does, but these are also so reflective of the kind of roles and stereotypes that have over the years come and gotten associated with being, with what being a woman is all about. And uh, you know, it's so uh, interesting when you were speaking about uh, the workplaces and how you know a man could be a certain way and a woman could be a certain way, and the example that was come popping up in my head repeatedly was how when a woman snaps in the office it becomes about maybe she's on her cycle hmm and when a man will snap it's like hmm. boss ne jo bola bahut sahi bola uske boss ne pressure dala hoga uske boss ne pressure dala hoga but matlab uske sath kuch garbad nahi hai and yeah. so you know we have these very different ways in which we even perceive emotional responses or ways in which people are communicating because we ascribe it to certain stereotypes that we have been holding on to a very very long time and one of the expectations that as a result has come on to women is to present themselves in a certain way to uphold themselves in a certain way and to communicate mm. and speak and hold those nurturing roles and be uh, very pleasant and put together at all times even though you may not be feeling up to it on china is there intel available that's what it is oh, it's yes. such a we should not uh, discount our uh, forces or other agencies we have very good intel we know what is happening mm. and in a era of you know technology with satellites and all we very well know each and every move of this and as i said in the whole of nation approach it is not the army alone all the organs of the state our rna w is doing a wonderful job we know exactly what is happening so let's not 
be under this delusion that one fine day we are going to get surprised and be at war. Hmm. We will get adequate notice. We will get adequate notice to mobilize. We will get adequate notice to go and occupy our defenses and be prepared in all respects. You know, this I can say that with utmost confidence to the entire nation that we will always be ready to face whatever is thrown at us. We are going to put one controversy, a historical controversy. Yes. Right? So you, since you are the historian, yes. the historical controversy to rest. We are going to have Mysore Park out here and I have a historian here <laughs> who is going to tell us, Mysore Park, Kannadiga? Of course. Or Tamil? No way Tamil, it is Kannadiga. And okay. I mean, we, we know the story, it was Nalbadi Krishnaraj Vadiyar's court huh. where, uh, I mean, I think the, huh. he wanted... Suddenly he said, I want to have something sweet mm. to eat. Mm. And the cook did not have anything else to do. So he just uh, cooked some, you know, uh, jaggery and this and that. And he put some besan powder and made some random dish and brought it to the Maharaja who loved it and said, what is this called? So he said, Mysuru Paka. Yeah. The, the Paka, the, the entire, this one that is made. Sugar. Sugar. Huh. And that's how the Mysore Park was born. And Congress ke baare mein keh rahe the ki disgruntled, disunited vagera. Lekin uh, Himachal Pradesh mein uh, jo uh, election jiti hai, usse ek nayi urja mili hai. Aur keh rahe ki Bharat Jodo Yatra se bhi uh, Congress ke jo kader hai, usme ek urja aayi hai, ek unity ke baad baat kar rahe ki 2024 ke liye tayar hai ab wo. Dekho Himachal ke karan istaniya karan the aur jahan tak भारत जोड़ो यात्रा की बात है मैं तो आज तक समझ ही नहीं पाया किसको जोड़ने के लिए हो रही है भारत तो 1947 में सरदार पटेल जी ने जोड़ा था राहुल गांधी जी तो उनका नाम भी नहीं लेते अगर अपने आप को वो मसीहा स्थापित करना चाहते तो मुझे पता नहीं बाकी मुझे उस यात्रा में ना कोई राजनीतिक ना कोई सामाजिक ना कोई सांस्कृतिक और ना कोई भारत का अध्यात्मिक पक्ष नजर आया जिसको हम ये कह सकें कि ये किस उपलब्धि के लिए यात्रा कर रहे हैं Influencers get a lot of hate, uh, toxic comments coming. Now, there, there's this person called Urfi, you yes. know, who wears uh, very bizarre clothes. Her fashion sense is is very shocking. Yeah. And the idea is to shock. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But she doesn't get the comments so much about her outfits as that she's a Muslim who's wearing this. Yeah. I mean, if you don't, if you really do not like it, don't look at it. Don't give it the attention. Hmm. Problem is, you are giving it the attention. Hmm. And what she is doing is she's taking it. Hmm. She, that's what she loves. And she's killing it. Right? That's what she came for. Yeah. So here, you're the one losing. She's winning. Yeah. So if you really have a problem, move on. The Nayan Sukh list. Like Shashi Tarur, Omar Abdullah, Raghuram Rajan. Good Let's critique guys. this list. In my expert homosexual opinion of lusting after men, I can tell you I do not find Shashi Tharoor hot. Uh, How can you decide on men who are hot? Are you not my opinion? Why, no, why are you minimizing my lived yeah, experiences? His, 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 uh, You're carrying out choices. verbal genocide. You're no, carrying out sure. verbal uh, uh, homophobic hey, uh, genocide. Any of these? Omar no, Abdullah, his he, only selling point is that he's fair. And you know, in this country, I have a huge objection that the gora is good. And the Angrezi is good. The Angrezi is good. Okay, now let's put you in the spotlight. Tell a male politician you find good looking. जयवीर Shergill is very charming. Hmm. Ram Krishna Hegde used Main, to be very charming. He was very charming. Ram, Ram Krishna yeah. Hegde was very super charming. charming. Hmm. Yeah. He's a really nice guy. Uh, S.M. Krishna was very charming. Hmm. I think Amit Shah is very charming. Modi, even as chief minister, was very charming. He could talk to you about Singapore politics. Hmm. He could talk about America, and Japan. And contemporary Rahul, younger you haven't mentioned Rahul. Think he's not Mali. charming. He's harming Rahul Gandhi. No, he's not. He's not. <laughs> You uh, were ambassador uh, of India in in the U.S. when Mr. Modi uh, came into office. You did Howdy Modi. You were f uh, foreign secretary during this very crucial period when Indian foreign policy morphed in some ways. Uh, one would say, you know, from that Nehruvian uh, era, we moved to a different kind. And you were at the cusp. How would you say that what it was then and what it is now? How would you see it? I began service some 40 years ago, but even take 10 or 15 years ago, um, you know, India uh, was seen very differently as it is seen today. 
the prime minister i think um, one of the aspects that is important is that he not only had good relations with every president uh, right from uh, president obama uh, to president trump and now president biden successfully uh, has had maintained very strong relations across the board with the U us he's also reached out to the indian community uh, across the world uh, in general but since we're talking about the us the us in particular uh, in a way that no prime minister has ever done i mean howdy modi is a one off event and i think you will it will be <laughs> rare to see something like that replicated ever again the 50000 us nationals of indian origin uh, gathered in a part of the united states with the us president and the indian prime minister addressing them walking hand in hand to take a round across that stadium an incredible moment of friendship and amity but also a demonstration of the closeness of ties and the strength of the indian uh, diaspora what is your view about pfi kya ban karna chahiye ya nahi nahi pfi ki ideology se main mutafiq nahi hu magar aap ban kaisa karenge na magar kyun kar lete hain bilkul are nahi ye bilkul sahi hai ban aap kaisa karenge ban main ban ke khilaf hu main mera manna hai ki ban karne se aur underground ho jate aur ab ab laga diya aapne uapa chalta rahega wo chalta rahega it can it can come out in any other form ho sakta hai ki dusre form mein aa jaye wo जो ऐसे जो स्लोगन्स निकलते हैं वेर लिंचिंग हो जाए या सरतन से जुदा की जो स्लोगन्स निकलते हैं क्या आप इसके खिलाफ हैं क्या आप अपने कम्युनिटी से बात करते हैं दैट दिस इज़ नॉट राइट बिल्कुल मैं खुलकर कहा हूँ कि इसके खिलाफ हूँ मैं ये इस तरह का नारा लगाना आप किसी वायलेंस को उकसा रहे हैं लोगों को बिल्कुल गलत है ये जब उदयपुर में वो टेलर को मारा गया मैंने ओपनली कंडेम किया बिल्कुल कंडेम गलत है ये ये आप किसी का कत्ल कैसे करेंगे आप हथियारों कैसे उठाएंगे जो वही लोग हथियार उठाते हैं जो भारत के डेमोक्रेसी पर और उनको कोई यकीन नहीं है संविधान पर तो बिल्कुल उसका कंडेम होना चाहिए और लोगों को दूर रखना चाहिए इस तरह के लोगों से जो इस तरह की बातें करते हैं the official say that ever since these technocrats have come in into into the cabinet we are functioning like an mnc government of india is functioning like an mnc where we have goals targets and things like that people like you mr jay shankar all of you who have been brought in it's somewhat like the singapore model so tell me is this what happens i can't claim to have worked with the prime minister for decades or years but i certainly have been an observer of his work since 2012 and he has always talked about governance with an outcome i mean even i uh, when i had a few occasions to meet him as chief minister gujarat he never talked about policy in the absence of a clearly understood outcome so he was always looking at policy and laws as a means to an end and the end was that there will be some developmental if impact a progress impact prosperity impact at the other side of the policy so i think this has been going on for a long time this is really what distinguishes his governance style from the other hundreds of other chief ministers who have come before him prime ministers who have come uh, before him that he is very laser focused on what he wants to mm. achieve out mm. of that particular policy or that ministry or that or that scheme difference between hinduism and hindutva is it the same thing or not you've been asked this a million times but That's still okay. hindutva is a religio political civilizational construct which is resistive in nature to protect hindu dharma and its adherents it is a necessity of the times we live in unfortunately so even after several years of savarkar's passing and i've said this in my debate with mr tharur or dr tharur that it came much before savarkar and it was actually formulated by chandranath bosu not savarkar savarkar did not coin hindutva it came much before him so hindutva in that particular sense twa translates to ness and therefore it's hindu ness and it is to say where that identity with pride so hinduism is the object of protection hindutva is both the sword as well as the shield to protect that particular hindu nature that's the answer now from my perspective what does it translate to i've clearly said in the first book that a civilizational attempt at rediscovering your roots and reinscribing your values on the political establishment is hindutva and it is perfectly justified we don't need to be apologetic about it even one bit so hinduism can coexist peacefully along with hindutva they don't need to be in dissonance with each other 
the existence of hinduism in the current day is predicated on hindutva being kept alive if hinduism were living in peace time hindutva will sleep but if that's not the case hindutva has to stand up it is the kshatra aspect of hinduism so what is the mental makeup of somebody who works in a ghatak platoon they are like they are the gladiators mm. of a co mm. they are they are pampered they are even allowed to put in a special dress they are only focusing they are, they are the lead boys at many times people say no it's only creating a few experts and the whole battalion or the whole regiment should be equally good but to have such a team motivates many others to reach that level of caliber military capability hmm. and all that and of course the cost is that if required they are the first ones who will give their life the incident happened in udi where there was a attack on a new battalion which was coming in and we lost a large number of troops of course we reacted to it and that was the first time the indian army went across the line of control hmm. and we sent a message to pakistan how important is personal chemistry between prime ministers it is important because every prime minister has a very crowded agenda Uh, there are a thousand and one things they have to do at the same time, and one of the things about governing is choice. You know, where do you focus on? And the fact that you have a prime minister in the UK who knows India well and understands you know, the opportunity which India provides is uh, good news, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I also think that Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister, and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak can sort of talk to each other in a particular way because of that understanding. Um, uh, so uh, we'll see. As I say, uh, for example, on the free trade agreement, uh, Indian negotiators are tough negotiators. I like to think the UK negotiators are tough negotiators as well. So there are still material interests, but knowledge and understanding and focus, I think, can be affected by uh, that that bilateral the relationship, the human relationship. Tell me, twenty twenty four. is modi ji versus talent yeah, and 2026 it's going to be annamalai versus talent ma'am 2024 madam it is going to be modi ji and indian people first time we are not going to see versus in indian politics it is modi ji indian people people are voting reason i'm telling you madam what stature does mk stalin ji has got what stature to compare to modi ji what stature madam but if you speak to the dmk they'll say of course in tamil nadu stalin has a bigger stature than modi ji modi ji is in delhi he's in gujarat he's in many other states but tamil nadu has a style of its own which is stalin for the dmk people it could be for an average tamilian hmm. they cannot accept this fact you can take our chief minister mk stalin ji compare him to modi ji and do it that can never get it. if if at all dmk is doing hmm. that will be the single greatest gift they'll be giving to bjp tamil nadu if they are doing that comparison hmm. i think we start with 10% plus anamalai ji you um, you know uh, you were talking about uh, your privacy going in a way because now you have the security uh, which the government has given you could you just tell us that what statements of yours uh, it was till now we have lost more than 100 karyakartas bjp as a party at different points of time vellur kanyakumari koyambatur all murdered and killed and anything especially because they put ideology first for what they are doing so from the outside perspective for people who say tamil nadu is a very safe state uh, tamil nadu you don't see this law and order problems and others tamil nadu is a state where terror exists modules are very strong isis has got a very good presence there was a chap there called general shabek singh Shabik Singh and I were good friends. I knew what a crafty man he was. So you have this Bindra Wale, and here you have this crafty Jat Singh, whose patriotism one could never even think twice about. You had such complete faith in it, and so what happened to him? Unfortunately, uh, he was court-martialed. What exactly his crime was, I don't know, and he was dismissed from service. a little before operation blue star he was dismissed from service as a major general so his anger he was very angry with not only the army but with the government of india uh, because he considered himself a very good officer a good soldier and he didn't believe he had done anything wrong but the court martial found him guilty and the verdict was imp- uh, cashier uh, cashiered so he decided to go to amritsar and seek the blessings of um, hindran wale anyone who had tr- any problem or trouble in punjab they always went to seek the blessings of hindran wale 
देर वॉज नो स्कोप फॉर मैरिड वीमेन उन दिनों था कि शादी कर ली तो आप निकल गए नहीं ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं था जितने शादीशुदा थे वो भी तो चल ही रहे थे ना ओ अब देखे ना मीना जी तो पहले से शादीशुदा थी और मीना जी ने कितनी फिल्में की नहीं जैसे मुमताज यू वर इन दैट जेनरेशन ना मुमताज वो शादी करके उस, निकल उस जेनर यू आर वेरी राइट था उस जेनरेशन में ऐसा था पर आपके जेनरेशन जैसे हेमा मालिनी डिंट टेल एनी बडी देर वॉज सो मेनी ऑफ दीज रेखा ऑल्सो डिंट टेल विनोद मेहरा के साथ इट वॉज लाइक क्वायट वेरी क्वायट इट वॉज इवन मच लेटर पीपल डेंट टॉक लाइक जूही चावला वुड स्पीक अबाउट इट दैट एंड शी सो मच यंगर देन यू सी इट्स लाइक दिस के वेन यू गेट मैरिड टू अ मैरिड man it is it becomes very difficult hmm. it's it is very difficult jaise aaj i am married to a married man hmm. i was married nobody knew i am married yeah now i think she had some problem she she died hmm. just a year back tab main himmat se baat bhi karti hu nahi to i never used to talk i used to tell please aap us bare mein baat na kare because i didn't want to hurt anybody see my affair my relationship with coco coli was not there to hurt anybody or snatch away somebody's main koi ghar todne ke liye nahi maine affair kiya ya dusri aurte jo hoti hain ye us liye affair nahi karti hain ki chalo inka ghar toot jaye no it's not that but something happens i don't know that only a man would know or a woman would know ke why a third person enters the film industry is often criticized that uh, they don't speak up often enough considering that they are you know they are torch bearers and people if you look speak up. and damned if you don't correct that both happens like yeah. i've seen the reticence in some yeah. very well known people yeah. in the film industry who just don't speak up because they say even if we do or for right causes the right thing we say we exactly. still get pilloried exactly when it comes to my country and when i have to speak about my country phir main bhi bhid jati hu <laughs> because like i said i mean there is and and yeah i do get comments are tu to acting hi kar tu kya janti hai why am i not a citizen of this country yeah. am i not a mother who has children who will be the next uh, generation of this country am i not uh, paying my taxes am i not uh, uh, paying my dues uh, living in this country am i not proud of this country so what has taken uh, me to be an actress to be taken my rights away to speak about when i want to speak about my country hmm. so who are you to tell me that so if i don't come to your house and tell you don't talk about this who are you to come to my house to tell me don't talk about this aap mein ye bahut bari aaya na suicide karne ka ha tab un dino ka to ye vichar tha na vifalta aapko kahin na kahin jhakjhor deti hai aur vifalta aap krityon se vifal nahi ho rahe hain aap apne jeevan mein ऐसा अनुभव ले रहे हैं कि ये जो दुनिया है ये दुनिया दिल दुखाने के लिए बनी है ये ज्यादातर जो रिश्ते हैं ये झूठ मूठ के ये नाइस टू मीट यू के लिए बने हैं बस हाई आई एम फाइन नाइस टू मीट यू या गुड टू सी यू मैन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम जबकि वो कहीं है ही नहीं हृदय है ही नहीं वहाँ तो ये नकली नकली खेल खेल के मनुष्य बूढ़ा हो रहा है उसको पता भी नहीं चला कि वो कितना नकली होते होते कहाँ तक आ गया मैं बोलता हूँ यदि एक पल भी जीना है तो आप असली में ही जिए मैं ऐसा जीता हूं हम ऐसे जीते हैं ऐसे जीने के लिए आपको बहुत पृथक होना पड़ता डिफरेंट होना पड़ता द हाइडनबर्ग रिपोर्ट केम इन इट्स नाउ ऑलमोस्ट व्हाट अ कपल ऑफ वीक्स सिंस इट्स बीन देयर इट्स मेड सो मच ऑफ नॉइज इन पार्लियामेंट आल्सो द डिफेंस बाय द गवर्नमेंट सीम्स टू बी म्यूटेड द पार्टी एज वेल एज द गवर्नमेंट इज अवेयर दैट द क्लोजनेस दैट द अडानी ग्रुप हैज विद द बीजेपी एंड द स्टुपेंडस राइज ऑफ दिस ग्रुप is something that it is embarrassed no, about absolutely that not. is the perception absolutely not this is a perception which possibly has also affected you but having said that bjp is a party both as in the cadre as well as in the government follows a certain amount of discipline and doesn't uh, start making noises without substance to which maybe congress party or tmc are known for and therefore it it looks like that but the common people are very certain even if you take the opinion of the stock market uh, commentators they are of the firm view that this is just a passing phase it is the this government which has cleared all the air as far as the crony capitalism is concerned so it's not that easy to hmm. uh, paint it with the same brush most an- women anchors get a lot of love and a lot of hate i've seen people come to you and take selfies from you know anywhere in india to even in dubai i was with you in dubai yes. and i've seen people coming and you know gushing about how 
how great you are and they love your work because you editorialize your news also and because of that you get a lot of hate from traditional dakyanusi khayalat ke log it does upset it like, used you know? to hmm. mujhe aisa lagta tha yaar ye log mujhe samajh kyun nahi pa rahe hain hmm. but what is wrong i am trying to do something for my society hindustan ko ek karna हिंदू और मुस्लिम को एक प्लेटफॉर्म पर लाना उनको तोड़ने जैसा कैसे हो सकता है ऑल दीज पीपल जिनको मैं अब तक एक्सपोज करके आई करते हुए आई आई जस्ट गिव यू वन इंस्टेंस देर वॉज दिस आगरा का ही कोई आलिम था सो so, ये भाई साहब ने फतवा जारी किया एंड uh, फतवा ये था कि आप uh, वंदे मातरम नहीं गा सकते हैं सो आई सेट वील डू अ फोनो and before that i just called the uh, reporter from that particular area and i asked uh, ki ye bhai sahab ke bacche hain to bole mashallah se char bacche hain hmm acha uh, kya karte hain to bole chote chote hain acha school mein jate hain ha jate hain kaun se school mein jate hain so it was a convent school to maine kaha bhai mera bas ek kaam kar do just go and find out ki wahan par uh, morning assembly hoti hai और क्या वहाँ पर वंदे मातरम होता है जनगणना मना होता है एंड ऑब्वियसली होता है तो भाई साहब तुम्हारे बच्चे तो जनगणना मना वंदे मातरम सब और तुम फतवा जारी करोगे एंड आई डिड एक्सपोज हिम ऑन एयर एंड आई डू एक्सपोज पीपल हु से कि इस्लाम जो है वो वायलेंट है ये है वो है आई गिव इट बैक टू दैम ऑल्सो बट वॉट वुड बी मच टॉक्ड अबाउट वेर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सपोज अम ऑल वी हाउ डज बीजेपी रिएक्ट टू दिस इज इट or your government for that matter you know is it a reactory reactionary measure that you have to take how do you no, counter I look, this i i think we will put our point of view across hmm. and as should be rightfully done in a democracy eventually the public will give its verdict which is electorate that's what it's only by the ballot that these things if yeah. he gets reelected that means that they have been proven wrong is that it is that what you're saying look i I I would say yes among other things because in a democracy uh, I mean don't you trust the ballot box and the uh, people's verdict to be the final opinion I do I know there are some people who believe that their view supersedes uh, election so in fact by the way I mean even that look look at this term I like you you win election great democracy I don't like you you win election what are you electoral autocracy Yeah I heard oh, that term. What what a great yeah. term right? Mm. That's reserved for people you don't like who win elections. Mm. So this is politics my dear. George Soros statement on democracy yeah, sure, which sure, you sure, took sure, on sure. you took on and you you said that you know you said he was old rich opinionated no, no, and dangerous. No no I know what I said. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now yeah. there's also the the op-eds which come in foreign media which say that um that they blame india for now for crony capitalism and say mr modi's image has got hurt the bjp on the other hand says that there's a there's a conspiracy uh, against uh, india rising india and uh, you know mr modi's muscular policies yeah, sure, and then sure, sure. it, it would be nicer to have a meek and submissive no, india look every time we make a major decision you talk about us being hypersensitive i would put it to you look at the hypersensitivity of the of the media you know look how people jumped up and down when article 370 was was uh, you know uh, decided yeah. upon now or you know even even this example that you know uh, millions of people will lose their citizenship i mean and then see sometimes the dishonesty of the it. caa one that yeah. you're talking see about see the dishonesty of it we keep hearing about india facing a two front war a uh, scenario and planning and things that go into it um tell me how how is india placed as far as our integrated missile development program is concerned vis-a-vis -vis china and pakistan the country has developed uh, many missiles which are required by the armed forces as is uh, the requirement comes from the armed forces all those missiles development has been taken up and that's how if you look at it uh, today we have developed prithvi then we have developed dhanush the series of agni missiles and then other missiles like uh, cruise missiles nirbhay mm -hmm. then brahmos then we have also developed air to air missile astra then we have developed the akash surface to air missile and also we developed the medium range surface to air missile and then anti tank missiles so many missiles which uh, 
the armed forces require, the country needs, looking at the various requirements, have been developed and I say that we meet all the requirements of the armed forces today based on their necessities uh, which they need for protecting our borders. Were you amazed at all about gangs of Vasepur? Yeah, that's genius of uh, Anurag Kashyap. Hey, no? And it comes from his own recklessness. Gangs of Vasepur or Devdi happened because, because of his own chaos. You know, sometimes when, when we are about to work with each other, I'm only praying, hey, Bhagwan, is ko chaos do. <laughs> What was it like working with Sham Benegal? Uh, he made me work very hard. He knows so much about everything. Mm. Uh, just for instance, if he's looking at this cup, he can tell you exactly when they started making cups of, uh, of this shape. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Even if he's not directing mm. and you are listening to him, talking to somebody else, you are learning. Mm. He's a treasure. Jo itni aapko shorat mili hai is kaam se कि आपको लगता है कि बर्डन है मैं बच्चों के बीच में जाता हूँ तो बच्चों के बीच में एकदम घुस जाता हूँ पलती मार के जमीन पे बैठ जाता हूँ उनके साथ बातें कर लेता हूँ एक टीचर की जो इमेज है उसको आपको मेंटेन करना होता है आई थिंक ठीक है इतनी जिम्मेदारी तो निभा ही सकते हैं साथ में वो प्यार जो है वो देख के तो बड़ा एनर्जी आती है बड़ा मोटिवेट होते हैं और एक ये भी चीज़ है ना ये रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है किसी मीटअप में आप जाओ इतने बच्चे तो आपको फील होता है यार ये जीते जागते बच्चे हैं मतलब यू आर वर्किंग फॉर दैम और उनकी लाइफ तो पर डिपेंडेंट है वो इतना ट्रस्ट कर रहे थे पर तो ये शुड बी अलाइंड और बच्चा जितना ज़्यादा प्यार कर रहे हैं आपको ना उतनी ज़्यादा आपके ऊपर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है इतने बच्चे आपको प्यार कर रहे हैं ना तो आप फिर उनके साथ गेम नहीं खेल सकते वेन आई सॉ यू एंटर पॉलिटिक्स मेनी ऑफ आज इन डेली वॉक वॉट इट यू थिंक एट दैट टाइम लाइक इट वॉज दो वेरी बिग शूज टू फिल योर डैड्स आई टेल पीपल इट्स वंडरफुल दैट लुक एट मी एज यू नो यू कुड बी लाइक हिम बट आई एम नॉट प्रमोद महाजन Hmm. I'm lucky to be Poonam Pramod Mahajan and that's my identity hmm. and that's how I took it forward maybe I was numb I did not know how it started at that time and how I took it forward till here now um I won't be um, uh, telling you the uh, it won't be it's a truth that at that time that was the only area we just wanted to as family to take this thing forward it's not like i was getting ready for politics yes lot of things we saw with him maybe i was always stuck to me as a little kid he wanted to always spend time with me so i did learn something which was very subconsciously seeing certain things coming into politics was not my dream but i take it as a project that i have to do well hmm. my only agenda is whatever has come to me i cannot fail it i have to do better because this is what my father did now that always plays on me subconsciously i just i'm concentrating on my constituency i want to show 2024 also though there are three parties together six parties together thok ke jeetungi if the china uh, taiwan conflict or in the south china sea if it gets aggressive then will europe get involved will it will it become a bigger issue than it is now in case of military attack by china on taiwan i am not convinced that there will be a coherent approach by europe that means european institutions and all the 27 member states um when it comes to a response i am also not even convinced that we will be able to let's say launch this comprehensive sanctions the way how we did that uh Russia, on Russia. if china really wants to go after taiwan there's a various phases i think most likely because you cannot just launch an attack you know the, mm. it's not like i take my car in the in front of the house and i uh, just go it will be visible for months and months and months because it's a massive logistic operation but we can assume that uh, that you know what china could do for example have a military exercise around uh, taiwan which lasts forever and nobody can come in and out and and then you know test the others and see what the dynamics but your for your direct question about military assistance um, you know the reality is we don't have the we don't have the material not the equipment in europe but that's actually a uh, big problem so yeah, i think the most uh, the biggest support what europe in that situation realistically could give is is, uh, is related to sanctions there's a lot of talk also that the bombay film industry has to sit up and watch because now people are going to watch a telugu film or a kannada film or a 
Malayalam film, if the content is good, language doesn't matter. Of course, I think it's it's that time high, has high, come, hai na? It, it's high high time that everyone should fasten their seat belts and make sure that you make a good content. Doesn't really matter which language you are making films in, but yes, people are intelligent, people are uh, smart, they are informed. Uh, only and only uh, you can survive if you are a good storyteller, if you are a good actor, and if you are. True to your craft. What do you have to say about the OTT things? It's it's given rise to so many brilliant actors, and so much more opportunity compared to like when you had yeah, come in yeah, the film industry. Aren't you like thrilled with what what's it's, happening? It's it's a brilliant phase hai for na? actors, directors, storytellers. कितनी दुनिया है वहाँ पे है कि आप भैया और एक चीज़ और है competition ऐसे है कि आप best होगे तो ही survive कर पाएंगे. Average का समय गया वो समय गया जब आप बोलेंगे कि भैया अपना दिमाग घर पे रख के ये और picture देखने आई है वो लोगों के पास उतना समय नहीं है कि मैं दिमाग घर पे रखूंगा पिक्चर देखने आऊंगा आप कमाल का काम बनाएंगे तो ही बनेगा नहीं तो नहीं इट्स द वन टू थ्री डील इट्स द न्यूक्लियर डील दैट काइंड ऑफ सेट द पाथ गोइंग एंड आई डोंट थिंक आई प्रेसिडेंट ओबामा और प्रेसिडेंट बाइडन हैव शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम दैट पाथ विच वॉज लेड बाई जॉर्ज बुश बट वुड यू एग्री विद दैट डील वॉज ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव एंड रिली सेट इन मोशन एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट बेसिस फॉर द यू एस इंडिया रिलेशनशिप आई वुड I would though say that on the you know one of the biggest critiques of US um policy in the region not just India but in the region more generally right now is that it doesn't have a very clear and strong economic strategy we know that there's the Indo-Pacific economic framework it it's got a long way to go a long way to travel will it what will it it will turn into is very far from clear if i can just again add which i thought was a very good point on the trade problem regionally that both the United States and India have. Uh, China has been very uh, aggressive and robust in its regional strategy. Not only does it have great bilateral trade relations throughout Asia, but it has led the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement from which India withdrew uh, after seven years of negotiations before signing that agreement. And it has applied recently to join the high standards comprehensive and progressive agreement on Trans-Pacific Partnership. As has been mentioned, that was uh, a, an agreement that uh, the Trump administration withdrew from on day one, quite unexpectedly to anyone else who knew about it in the administration, or was, no one was aware of it. And I think it was a strategic blunder. In 2021, you said uh, China has transgressed many times over the years uh, with its own perception of the LAC. None of you come to know how many times we have transgressed as per our perception. Chinese media doesn't cover it. Let me assure you, if China has transgressed 10 times, we must have done it about 50 times. Now, was that bravado on your part to say this? Let me let me explain it. Huh? What happens? The line of control is based on a 1959 map which Chauhan Lai handed over to Jawaharlal Nehru. it was a, a map as big as one page of a small book can you interpret that line on ground now when you make an attempt to interpret it on ground you will find it is cutting across various things it is not following what you will follow as a border based on that the line of actual control which came into being because they had occupied to a certain area and based on this when the unilateral so called unilateral cease fire took place they went back to what they considered as their area and a line of actual control came into being now this perceptual differences will remain because it has not been demarcated on a map and authenticated by both the sides in his perception he'll come to a particular area and if we are not there up to that area at times he will sit down or he'll say that this is my area hmm. similarly we will go to those areas which we think is our as per our perception we may encounter them we may not encounter them the american top dub- diplomat for the region uh donald lu uh he expressed the view that us was aware that india wasn't going to end relations with russia i think two things have happened recently which capture where the relationship is today On 31st January this year, the Indian and U.S. national security advisers launched a new initiative on critical and emerging technologies: artificial intelligence, quantum, cyber, 6G, biotech, commercialization of space. And the second dimension is what you referred to as uh, Donald Lu's comments about 
we have now learned to manage our differences, mm -hmm. which is a new stage in the relationship. I think it's been a process over the last 22 years. And the relationship sometimes, as uh, my colleague said, has had difficulties or challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. But when you step back and look at the arc of the last 22 years, it's extraordinary. Raja, you and I have covered ASEAN summit mm, yeah. several times, and uh, several Asian leaders would say that, why doesn't India take leadership? So I guess many of us are flattered that, uh, you know, it's become Indo-Pacific, mm. but you were in Singapore too. Yeah. So tell me, how does yeah. how do the other Asian countries see this new name? No, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think there are two things there. One, our own neighbors in South Asia, and they, they think, until all these decades, they've used the Americans to balance against India. So when India and the U.S. get together, so for them, it is a problem. Mm. Uh, so they're a bit worried. For the ASEAN, uh, I think Southeast Asia, there are really deep sense of ambivalence about the Indo-Pacific. Mm. They don't like the term. They would prefer to use Asia-Pacific rather than Indo-Pacific. And for them, uh, Quad, they're very concerned about it. They think the Quad will replace the ASEAN. So for them, they got so integrated into the Chinese sphere of influence. For them, a quarrel between U.S. and China and a deepening partnership between India and the U.S. Uh, to balance China uh, make them very, very uncomfortable. Tell me about the influence of Marxism on the revolutionaries. And one of the very first people to read about uh, the uh, Marxism in India is, of course, Bhagat Singh. Hmm. But it is very important to remember that Bhagat Singh is not the founder of uh, the communist movement in India. Yeah. He's in fact himself a part of an explicitly nationalist movement. What happens is that the communist movement begins to uh, gather pace in the 1930s. Uh, some of it is Russian support, but interestingly, uh, also reason was that the British actually supported the spread of Marxist literature in Indian jails to the revolutionaries to, in order to divide them mm. uh, from the nationalists. So many revolutionaries went into jail as nationalists and came, came out, out as... as Marxists. Now, what happens, unfortunately, is that Emin Roy, the original founder of the CPI, drifts off from the party. And of course, after independence, there is another problem that, uh, you know, they had said all these bad things about uh, people like Netaji and they didn't really participate in the freedom, freedom struggle. struggle. So they adopt Bhagat Singh as a sort of, see, our guy had also participated in, in, mm. in the freedom struggle. But in fact, Bhagat Singh had nothing to do with the Communist Party of India. Mm. Um, so they are retrospectively uh, bringing him back. And that is why you have this strange situation. Three people are hanged on the same day for the same crime. Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev Thapar and Rajguru. You only hear about Bhagat Singh. Why? Because he has been resurrected by uh, the Marxists. I'm asking you for your state. You are considered very close to Rahul Gandhi. We see all the time in parliament, you're seated next to him. You're walking next to him, but you were not there. He's not gone to the Northeast. Why is it of no interest to him? Why am I'm replying in the way I'm replying? Because in every question of yours, you're trying to portray as if Congress doesn't give importance to Northeast. Doesn't. Now. That is your perception, madam. I have already given you umpteen examples how important the Northeast is. Rahul Gandhi was the first leader who understood the gravity of Citizenship Amendment Act. Is he going to come to Northeast India for a yatra? We all want him to, to do a yatra. We all want to do a yatra because the yatra enthused us and the yatra was a, was a ray of optimism in a sea of negativity. At the Munich uh, Security Conference earlier this year, the Indian ex External Affairs Minister said, and I'll quote him, for 45 years there was peace, there was stable border management, and then no military casualties on the border since 1975. That changed because we had agreements with China not to bring military forces to the border, which is the line of actual control that we have. And the Chinese violated those agreements. All countries should be concerned that the dispute over the Indian-China uh, uh, border, um, I think that too should be resolved in accordance with international law and countries should be concerned. The United States is serious about competing with China. It cannot compete with China without playing a strategic role in the world's pivotal region. How to maintain military balance is the main point of the counter-China strategy. That's true. So. Uh, how uh, dividing the China's budget in the multi-direction is a good way. 
Amitabh Bachchan jokingly calls you Malkin ever since <laughs> because you know you're married to the <laughs> film producer. Uh, like no, he thinks I, he calls me Malkin because he thinks I'm bigger than the producer and oh, the director oh. on that set. A sense <laughs> of humor which is very dry. Oh my god. Yeah. He's amazing. I love Amiji. Okay, so when you when you act with him, I believe he's he's a stickler, right? He comes on time and he's uh he's there for those x number of hours and things work differently in a film set when Mr. Bachchan is around. They work the way they're supposed to work. He contributes to a film completely. It was completely like, "Oh my god." Uh but he puts you at ease. And yeah. when he's talking to you, it's like you're the only person he's talking to. It's mm-hmm. not a frivolous thing. And of course, he has a sense of humor. Yeah. And what an act. Operation Meghdoot which was launched in 84 this did not sit well with the Pakistanis they not kept really. fighting and there was uh, <clears throat> 1987 was this major assault when seen, uh, Brigadier Musharraf when uh, he was Musharraf there. himself as was, uh, yeah. a, a, the NSG their uh, SSG and uh, as a brigadier by then he had been promoted to brigadier and he had taken over he lost attacks one after the other and he failed in all the attack and it was around the same time 23rd of june 84 the pakis launched attack again 23rd of june 1987 the pakis launched attack the 23rd june by and last is supposedly the longest day hmm. so you have uh, you know clear day almost till about 8:30 quarter to 9 at night you can see la- great distance so you have the longest day is the 23rd of june and that is the time twice the pakis attempted and that is where uh, at all times pakis uh, lost and uh, to great loss of theirs hmm. and that is where you found benazir uh, you know trying to tell uh, pakistani army chief and the rest of them ki aap chudiyan dal lo these From kind of jacket. sharp things that she said to general musharraf he Paid didn't for forget it her father hmm. zulfikar ali also uh, humiliated ziaul haq Hmm. and because he humiliated ziaul haq and uh, ziaul haq also did not forget that humiliation and he lost his life and hmm. similarly musharraf also did not suffer uh, that humiliation by what your benazir had done and I'm, though of course it can't still be proved but the fingers are pointing towards musharraf that she lost her life too how much of a responsibility is it of rnaw to give when you give intelligence to the political leadership do you have to hand over intel as in proof intel like satellite maps or what to say so, it depends Sometimes. satellite maps are given to show the location after all we gave handed over that tape musharraf talking to general aziz khan yes please explain that what happened for those who don't know uh, about this whole conversation that happened tell us about that you know uh, when they had mounted this attack <clears throat> in uh, on the on kargil and up to a point they were doing well we were uh, at the receiving end and they were pounding us from heights and then as this tide began to turn musharraf had gone to beijing and there he rings up aziz khan and they talk to each other and the conversation is inki to tutti hamare haath mein hai the the guys who are fighting and that we are controlling the whole operation so uh, mian nawaz ko zyada batane ki zarurat nahi hai unko nahi ba- don't have to tell him anything just tell him everything is okay but we'll carry on like this don't that, tell the prime minister no nah, don't tell the prime minister need to know basis hota hai war ke time the, the prime minister <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> ha so that conversation gave evidence that the pakistani they were saying that we have not done it the infiltrators are they mujahideen and all that they are actually involved in so rw had taped that conversation we had taped that con we got that tape those who do not succeed in bringing you down legally they say that the reason is because sadguru ji is connected so well with powers that be <laughs> that's why have i ever gone to any chief minister or prime minister ever asking something for myself ever have i taken one rupee from any government have i taken an inch of land from any government no till now whatever they have said have they produced one iota of proof this is not exaggeration of what we are doing this is just total imagination of what it is so any number of times openly i have challenged you're talking about thousands of acres of forest i said one inch forest land 
tribal land, private land, government land, one inch anywhere if there's an encroachment, I'll leave the country, I'll withdraw from all the social media thing, you will never hear of me again, I'm done. मैंने हर सीन में जान डाल दी थी जब मैं डबिंग कर रहा था मैं सोच रहा था कुछ ज्यादा नहीं कर रहा हूं कुछ ज्यादा नहीं है बट ठीक है रिलीज होने से तीन दिन पहले द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर ऑफ द फिल्म उन्होंने मुझे ब्लू लेबल की एक बॉटल भेजी मैंने तब तक ब्लू लेबल देखी नहीं थी और उसके साथ एक नोट था वॉट ए परफॉर्मेंस इन निगाहें सर सुपर डुपर हिट तो मेरा दिमाग खराब हो गया मैंने कहा पूरन चंद्र राव जी ने ब्लू लेबल भेजी है और उसके साथ लिखा तो मैंने कहा अब मैं इसका स्पेशल शो रखता हूँ बिफोर द रिलीज और मैं बुलाता हूँ अपने फेवरेट को आई वॉज रूटिंग विद रेखा जी एंड यश जी मेरे दोस्त हैं और यश जी को बुलाया और पैम को बुलाया और किरण को मैंने कहा आज मैं तुमको दिखाता हूँ मैंने क्या किया एक फिल्म में तो किरण की आदत थी कि जब वो पिक्चर देखने जाती थी अगर मैंने अच्छा बोला तो मेरा हाथ पकड़ के जाती थी ऐसे हाथ में हाथ डाल के पहला सीन हुआ तो किरण ने अपना हाथ हटा दिया और मुझे लगा कि ये तो ठीक नहीं है तो सूरी गलत है मैं हर चीज जोर जोर से बोल रहा हूँ चिल्ला चिल्ला के बोल रहा हूँ विद म्यूजिक जब दूसरा सीन शुरू हुआ तो किरण ने सीट छोड़ के साथ वाली सीट पे चली गई आई एम नथिंग डू विद यू और आगे वो पैम पैम चोपड़ा जी बोलती हैं यश जी को डार्लिंग तबीयत थोड़ी खराब हो रही है <laughs> even at seminars and conferences afghanistan has just fallen off the map everybody's talking about the ukrainian conflict and i think for many people inside the country the expectation now now is to see muslim majority countries to stand up and to speak up for the people that this is not islamic i don't think it's a good idea to make it as a religious religion problem which is say that those religion. countries who are having the same religion should get take more care about it or not what can we do i mean we can cut this 17 different ways but the realistic one so i i both agree with shabnam and i think it's really people like yourself will keep the call going because the rest of us have moved on to indo pacific and foip and ukraine yeah. You've said that India under Modi is wrongly portrayed as a fascist state, and uh, you said Indian intellectuals are fueling that narrative. The people who are vilifying India on the international stage are mm. primarily India's own intellectuals. Our knowledge of India comes from a relatively small number of highly elite intellectuals who have access to publications, Western publications like the New York Times, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal. They write op-eds in these publications. Um, if you read any Western portrayal of the RSS they will say it is a ultra right wing paramilitary organization right now the RSS is a conservative organization it's nationalist it's certainly not a paramilitary organization there are no arms in the RSS and, no. and but when indian intellectuals call the RSS a right wing paramilitary organization what we imagine as people in australia or the united states we imagine uh terrorists with AK47s people have got completely blinded by his personality they don't believe anything negative that comes out of him i mean nawaz sharif ke bare mein to yun karke believe kar lete hain but nothing seems to stick on imran khan strong social media presence you know in today's world the youth listen to social media they listen to his tweets they listen to his video podcast the ppp and the pmln are no match for this and a lot of these people are dual nationals you know uh, people who surround him दे आर डोल नेशनल कोई अमेरिकन है पाकिस्तानी कोई ब्रिट है दे रिली डोंट हैव द स्टेक्स इन पाकिस्तान एंड बिकॉज ऑफ हिज पॉपुलरिटी बिकॉज ऑफ हिज कल्ट ही हेज स्टार्टेड बिलीविंग दैट ही इज अबव द लॉ आई रिमेम्बर वन स्पीच एंड आई एम शॉक दैट रिलीजियस पार्टीज इन पिकेट अब ही सेड लुक इट मी ऑल द आर्मी फैमिलीज आर माई सपोर्टर्स इट यू आर मेकिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ अ कंपेरिजन एंड नो बी पिकड अप ऑन दिस इज सेट बट बिकॉज ऑफ हिज पॉपुलरिटी बिकॉज ऑफ हिज कल्ट इन एवरी स्पीच ऑफ हिज Uh, whenever he starts talking about islam he always tries to draw some analogy albeit oblique uh, with the prophet uh, and then of course he has used uh, islam as a political tool did you just one fine day walk into a beach and say chi chi ganda the beach clean up started in big bay in october 2015 when mm. i shifted to varsova and when you see such garbage uh, i mean then you do what you have to do uh, being a lawyer there were multiple options to me you know i could have filed a writ petition but i chose to use the gandhian method uh, using your two hands i said what a court order could do uh, you could do as well when you see a big problem you actually the solution is very small there and there itself local especially where garbage is concerned 
what was it like with veer zara with veer zara i'd say when um i think i wanted to become an actor ever since i was 4 and had seen mr bachchan on the big screen then of course uh, the the dream was to be launched by yash chopra when they told me you're doing the friends role i was like if i'm launched as a friend to a heroine and in those times there was this thappa ki aapne ek cheez kar li aur wo super hit ho gayi to aap wahi karenge to i was like i don't want to be stamped that so my mother told me listen do you have a godfather i said no so she said uh, then go ahead take a role that is so beautiful make it your own cut to the premiere of the film i was very nervous holding my mother's hand tight and during the interval i was like ab ban gayi my best friend and then i got out and for the first time in my life after being in the industry for about 5 6 years i was crowded i was hugged everyone was asking yash uncle i kudi kitho leke aaye ho pakistan to aaye even in the liberal democracies we seeing in in the when i say liberal i obviously mean western democracies there's this view that liberalism is under threat because of rise of nationalism nationalism is completely misunderstood mm. i have long argued that post colonial nations cannot look at nationalism the way the west looks at nationalism because without nationalism we would have never become independent it makes no sense we cannot look at nationalism and feel frightened we look at nationalism and feel hope hmm. because our entire existence comes from the fact that we were nationalists you know it's long argued and even today it's argued india is not a nation it is a yeah. you know it is a coming together of states it's a union of states that to argue india is not a nation is a very dangerous argument because it completely decries 5000 years of civilization jab mere sath koi baat karta hai i say the imposition is you are making india a hindu rashtra my answer is not apologetic my answer is i think you mean you are making india a hindu rajya india is already a hindu rashtra our chitti our essence is what we loosely call and when i mean hindu i include bulle shah in it too 2611 and what happened at that time showed that we were vulnerable too i feel you need to patrol and lay ambushes in the cyber environment because any terrorist activity or a you know intelligence activity is mostly in the cyber domain everything is owned by someone else like for example if there is google mail which is coming to you you can't find out the origins without asking them now masking has happened police us they will give it to you saying that this is suspected this but you are warning them in advance that okay we are interested in this hmm. and if it is their p- intelligence organization do you think they will allow us to access we have started increasingly becoming dependent on others others in the sense foreign countries foreign countries and their networks yeah for if if you look at uh, 2611 the whole talk was happening on skype it's just because the americans allowed us to listen in if they don't allow us we won't come to know what is going on and they allowed us to listen in because their uh, citizens were also stuck otherwise would they have allowed us i have no clue so the reason i'm saying it is because we were not allies with america slowly you know in, uh, that relationship had started uh, coming up but allies can you fully trust them 26% of the population below 14 years 67% yeah. is between 15 to 64 years this uh, age group where you know you need to provide jobs do you think that we are on track for that we have a once in a country's lifetime chance at the moment of doing this and if we don't then we'll remain a low middle income country and the bottleneck as i see it is really the bureaucracy and the judiciary so we need reform there because for the first time and i have sort of been part of this whole economy discourse and financial sector discourse the last 30 35 years i've never seen political will the way that i've seen it with the modi government so there is political will there is a desire to make change a genuine desire to make change but you need the other parts to also march along for india i think we've got a very good momentum going with economic growth at the moment we just desperately need reforms you need those agri reforms you need next generation reforms this whole ease of doing business so the bureaucracy unfortunately is hmm. just stopping the wheels of progress because i love having young achievers uh, because it motivates others so how it all happened for you i got detected by asthma and doctor suggested to swim when i started swimming professionally for 4 years i had no medals only participation certificate around when 8th standard uh, went by when we did some tests then we realized that i have dyslexia dysgraphia 
and ADHD. Back then, it was a taboo and still date. Somewhere, parents are a little hesitant to hmm. uh, accept uh, the mental illness. And back then, my mom and dad were very open enough. They were like, okay, there's nothing to hide in this. We will work on this. You had an accident. Uh, so could you tell us more about what happened to your hands and how it happened? When I was doing my master's, I bought a heater and somehow corner of my skirt touched that heater and by that time that fire was coming up so i just tried to ex extinguish that fire with my hand so i got deep burns with that the, and unfortunately my left hand fingers all were amputated everywhere whenever i go i have questions ki are ye kya hua to wo jo trauma Every time I had to do this, now I am habitual of it. In fact, I make it a habit. The initial classes are in the incidents that I share with you. Because for me, it is like a motivation. अस्सी के दशक में जब उग्रवाद और आतंकवाद जो है उसने पंजाब को जकड़ सा लिया था आप उसको उग्रवाद का नाम दे रहे हो ऐसी उग्रवाद वाली बात यहाँ कोई नहीं है उनमें सबसे बड़ा सेंटर पॉइंट आप संत जरनैल सिंह भिडरा वाले को मानते हो कि उन्होंने एक उग्रवाद का नाम दिया लेकिन बेसिकली वो उग्रवाद नहीं था वो पंजाब के मसले की बात थी वहाँ से काम शुरू हुआ था मैं सबूत करना चाह कर, कर सकता हूँ कि आज तक भिंडरा वाले ने किसी हिंदू या किसी धर्म के खिलाफ कोई बात नहीं कही तो मैं आपको बता दूँ कि ये किसी धर्म के खिलाफ लड़ाई नहीं थी यहाँ के कुछ प्रेस मीडिया ने उनको एक एक धर्म के खिलाफ बना दी और उसका फ़ायदा क्या हुआ मैं ये, ये बता दूँ कि इंदिरा गांधी जी एमरजेंसी में फ्लॉप हो गई उनकी जो राशि धरातल सी वो खत्म हो गई उनके पीछे जो इमरजेंसी की लड़ाई लड़ी गई उसमें सबसे बड़ा रोल अकाली दल का था इंदिरा ने अकाली दल को बोला कि आप चाहो पूरी मांगे भी आपको दूंगी आप पूरा उम्र राज करोगे लेकिन आप आंदोलन से बाहर हो जाओ लेकिन अकाली दल ने कहा कि जो हमारे गुरु ने बताया कि जबर जुल्म के खिलाफ हम लड़ाई लड़ेंगे उसके बाद में इंदिरा जी ने अपना अस्तित्व बचाने के लिए उन्होंने ये बात चुनी ऐसे कि मैं उस समय दरबार साहब में मौजूद था जब ब्लू स्टार ऑपरेशन हुआ है उसकी जरूरत नहीं थी लेकिन ऑपरेशन ब्लू स्टार के दौरान गोल्डन टेंपल में थे हाँ जी हाँ जी तो आप बिंद्रा वाले के साथ थे उस वक्त हाँ जी मैं उनका समर्थक था आप क्या उनके साथ खड़े थे वहाँ हथियार उठा के नहीं हथियार चोर नहीं भी उठाया होगा लेकिन मैं उनकी डायलॉजी था था Tamil Elam issue that is also a civilizational link whether it is the language whether it's the people and whether it's the Elam issue so could you tell us about how things have moved on that front although we are a small country we have many many uh, different sort of divisions after the war in 2009 i think we have taken too long in a way in trying to work on the reconciliation and then in the middle of all that we had this uh, other terror attack as well which brought in another dimension the easter we, sunday attack easter sunday attack so our current president is trying to look at it his initial priority is to address the economic inequities the developmental side and then he wants to see how he can address what happened last year has sent a signal to the political system now if you look at our current president he is looking at how he can increase youth representation in the parliament to create a new sort of a political space for the youth frankly that is the solution you know you've been accused so many times of plagiarizing aapne simon and garfunkel ko bhi utha liya why do people just talk about anu malik pancham ho ya sab bade bade composers ho all have been inspired abhi ke bhi jitne bhi composers jo mere gaane uda rahe hain I never take the names. J.P. Dutta was the man who told me that when you are making a border, when you are making a LOC cargo, when you are making a refugee, when you are making a Umrao Jan, when you are making a Ashoka, when you are making a Janeman, when you are making a Mehuna, why are you not talking about these original work? Why are you not talking about this? All these directors, they come with a script. Sir, this is a picture. This is it. And we want Anno Malik, the real Anno Malik. They don't come with this tune, or we will do something like this, or we will do something like this. Barbara Streisand has said this. पीपल हर्ट यू टू ऑफसेट दर ओन फेलियर्स इन लाइफ आपको अनुमल की मेहनत नजर नहीं आ रही आपने अनुमल कहाँ गिरता है वो देखो पकड़ा जाए आउट ऑफ दोज थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फिल्म ट्वेंटी फिल्म गुड बी इंस्पायर थर्टी फिल्म गुड बी इंस्पायर द रेस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड आर ऑल ऑरिजिनल क्रिएशन अनुमल post godra did narendra modi go into a shell as far as the media is concerned was he justified in that hostility that relationship which went sour one of the things that i observed especially after the 2002 riots there was a very concerted biased uh, manner in which the media was out to get him and this was not based always on facts in fact uh, the series of uh, uh, analytical articles 
uh, in the Hindu by then Siddharth Vardarajan, uh, where he was talking about what happened in the Godra incident and then what happened in the riots. And you see so many contradictions. You know, the average reader will take it at face value. They would not, you know, get into the depths. People forget the attack on Akshardham and Gandhi Nagar did not trigger any riots. There were no incidents of violence. In fact, uh, Mr. Modi went on Doordarshan at that time and, and appealed for calm. And, and that had an impact. Now, this doesn't come anywhere in the narrative. So clearly he was uh, having this uh, very antagonistic, uh, you know, relationship with the media and, uh, and it was not helping. What about the visit of uh, PM Modi to the US? What, I, what do you think are the main focus areas? This is a visit that has a potential to shape uh, the political landscape as well as the technology landscape for the future. The 21st century is basically about, as far as Indians are concerned, two relationships. Hmm. How we manage China and how we partner with the US. What is it that is different this time? In seven years, a lot has changed. China in seven years, oh my God. Yeah. It's a breakout nation hmm. uh, in terms of its economic muscles, in terms of its aggressiveness, in terms of its expansiveness, in, in terms of its presence all over the world. Uh, you know, the, the Belt and Road Initiative, the debt trap diplomacy, the Wolf Warrior communications, um, uh, capturing US universities, UK universities, media houses. It was uh, really interesting to see that while all of us in the free world, um, the US, EU, India, were taking a beating as far as media coverage was concerned, the sentiment of the overall coverage of a country was concerned, China was doing well uh, through the pandemic, post the pandemic. I mean, the Chinese term is borrowed the boat to cross the sea. They, had, they were literally owning all our boats. Our boats were serving the Chinese cause. Look, uh, I think when it comes to China, relying on Western nations is dangerous. Hmm. They are compromised. Even now, half of them are literally apologists for China. Even Biden, who is uh, far more um, careful in terms of uh, how he says things, what he says, uh, how to approach them. And by the way, he's not he's not easy on them. Huh? He's taken quite a tough yes. uh, line on China and, and more power to him. But you could literally see his own uh, Democrat commentariat yeah. uh, trying to find ways of convincing uh, the leadership that somehow China is a great bet to make, great friend to have, a great partner in these difficult times. China is not a partner. China is playing for the house. In December 1980, RNAW created a new branch known as Sikh Extremism and its relations with ISI. Then S.J. Singh was director of establishment, my counterpart in the IMEA. He says, Sidhu, where is Khalistan? You people are unnecessarily creating posts under the cover of Khalistan. So I said, if there is no Khalistan, please write on this file that there is no need for sending. So how dare he, he knew that how these posts were sanctioned. So there are two things which are happening at this stage. You are preparing a note about Khalistan becoming an issue in the diaspora because REW is an external yeah, yeah, thing. Right. You are doing that, but at the back of your mind, you know it doesn't exist right exist, now. Huh? But when you're making this report, you also know somewhere in the back of your mind that there is a possibility that my boss knows that it will become an issue. Mr. Santuk, in the middle of 1981, he tells me, please call a meeting of deputy directors or DIG rank officers and I'll be there. You brief them as to what is Khalistan. And at that meeting, I briefed them at that time, the same joint director was sitting there. I, who wrote me that you should not be bothered, we, Gurdwara politics, we are not interested. I asked them, I point, sir, what happened now? We are briefing Khalistan, so no, but ha, what has changed? Things have changed significantly. He didn't tell me what has changed. I was still briefing the RNAW officer in middle of 1981 as to what is Khalistan. Before that, in August 1981, Mr. Kao, who was the founder secretary and retired during Maharaji Desai's time, he was appointed as a senior advisor. Hmm. So maybe at his instance, Mr. Santuk tells me that Sidhu things are getting worse in Canada and US. Now we are having some hearing bad news. And so here, after having taken a decision that Khalistan Bandrawala issue will be used, they started screwing up things so that tension should start spreading. तीन राज्यों में चुनाव होने वाले हैं अभी कर्नाटका में आप चुनाव हारे उससे पहले भी जब जो भी चुनाव हारे हैं प्रधानमंत्री ने भी कहा कि ये रेवड़ी कल्चर इज बैड और फ्रीबी कल्चर अब फ्रीबीज और रेवड़ी से अगर इलेक्शन जीता जा सकता है तो क्या शॉर्ट टर्म के लिए आपकी पार्टी ऐसे नहीं करेगी इस देश के डिस्काउंट करीब 18 लाख करोड़ से लॉस में है 
और इसी प्रकार से बिजली मुफ्त देने की स्पर्धा रहेगी तो हमारा बिजली का क्षेत्र खत्म हो जाएगा हमारे देश में इसी मिक्सी बांटना इडली पात्र बांटना इडली बांटना ये बांटना फुकट की चीजें सरकार के पैसे से बांटने से राजनीति नहीं होगी हम रोजगार निर्माण करें गरीबों को घर बना के दें स्वच्छता करें हम नई इंडस्ट्री लाएं लोगों को रोजगार क्रिएट करें ये जो परमानेंट उपाय है जो देश के विकास के वो करने चाहिए चुनाव जीतने के लिए केवल रेवड़ी बांटने से देश का भी नुकसान होगा आर्थिक स्थिति का भी नुकसान होगा और समाज का भी नुकसान होगा अब जब फुकट में चीज कोई मिलती है तो लोगों का उसका महत्व नहीं होता पर इस प्रकार की राजनीति चुनाव को देखकर जो हो रही है वो लोकतंत्र के लिए घातक है अच्छी बात नहीं है यू नोन महाराष्ट्र पॉलिटिक्स फॉर सो लॉन्ग बिकॉज यू नो योर सेकेंड जनरेशन पॉलिटिशियन फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र वाई इज इट महाराष्ट्र पॉलिटिक्स इज इन सच अ टोटल मैस राइट नाउ पॉलिटिशियंस आर सीकिंग टू थ्रस्ट देर चिल्ड्रेन नो लुक एट द महाराष्ट्र लैंडस्केप यू हैव एन where there is a fight within the family whether the daughter becomes the heir heiress or a nephew they already had that fight once before in the family it's continuing you have the shiv sena which first had a fight in the second generation where uddhav thakre was suddenly chosen out of the blues whereas raj thakre was seemed to be the natural heir with all the flair and the oratorial skills inherited from bal thakre ji but he chose as they say blood is thinner than water he wanted his own son now we seeing that play out in the third generation because of which today he is out of the shiv sena totally because he chose against very senior leaders like eknath chinde ji he chose to give prominence to his own son so finally the shiv sena decided to go along with eknath chinde because he embodied the true spirit of bala saheb thakre Uh, if you look at the congress the entire party is full of family run dynasties and those family run dynasties don't come out of emerge out of struggle or hard work mumbai 150 ka jo slogan hai is it still on ha ah, 100% it's on mumbai jeetenge acche tarike se aur platform kya hoga wohi hindutva dekhi hindutva ye poll platform nahi hai main wapas kehta hu wo to hamare vichar dhara ki baat hai hum to hindutvadi hai hi तो उसके भरोसे हम वोट नहीं मांगते हम वोट तो विकास के भरोसे मांगते हैं यू इवन से औरंगजेब उनको भी ले आते हैं आप तो फिर कैसे हुआ फिर कि सिर्फ विकास औरंगजेब और विकास तो दूर दूर तक उसका कोई रिश्ता नहीं है हमारे विकास में औरंगजेब रोड़ा है कई बार नेशनल मीडिया और स्पेशली इंग्लिश मीडिया ये हमारे मराठी के भाषणों को पूरा सुनता नहीं है और आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स कोई चीज कोट कर देता है और फिर वही एक नरेटिव बनता है देखिए अचानक महाराष्ट्र में कुछ जिलों में औरंगजेब का स्टेटस रखना शुरू हो गया उनके फ़ोटो लगने शुरू हो गए उनके फ़ोटो लेकर प्रोसेशन निकलना शुरू हो गया तो औरंगजेब तो कोई हमारे हीरो नहीं है और भारतीय मुसलमानों के भी हीरो नहीं है इतने सालों के बाद अचानक इतने लोग ये स्टेटस रखने लगे तो मैंने कहा कि मेरे मन में शंका है कि औरंगजेब की इतनी औलादें कैसे पैदा हो गई उनकी औलादें तो है नहीं तो इसका मतलब ये है कि बाई डिज़ाइन कुछ लोग कम्युनल हार्मोनी खराब करना चाहते हैं और वे लोग इस प्रकार की ये तस्वीरें लगा रहे हैं क्योंकि भारतीय मुसलमानों का और नेशनलिस्ट मुसलमानों का औरंगजेब हीरो नहीं हो सकता ये मेरा पूरा स्टेटमेंट है क्या गलत है बताइए भारत का पॉपुलेशन 1.4 बिलियन और हम डेवलपिंग कंट्री हैं इतने बड़े कंट्री uh, में इतने लोगों को हेल्थ सर्विसेज मुहैया कराना बहुत ही बड़ा एक कार्य है जब आपने कार्य संभाला आपके सामने क्या गोल था जब मुझे हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री का दायित्व दिया तब स्थिति भी यही थी कोविड चल रहा था तो दो जिम्मेवारी मेरे सामने थी एक देश का हेल्थ सेक्टर को समझना हेल्थ को एक्सेसेबल करना हेल्थ को एफोर्डेबल करना और दूसरा कोविड मैनेजमेंट करना उस वक्त में दुनिया के साथ मीटिंग कर रहा था और ये सब लोग ऐसी बात करते थे कि इंडिया में कितने लोग मरेंगे उसका प्रडिक्शन करते थे उसका मॉडलिंग करते थे और उसके आधार पर दुनिया में कितने लोग मरेंगे वो बेज बनाते थे 2023 जनवरी महीने में मैं भारत का प्रतिनिधित्व करने के लिए वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम दाउस गया था और बिल गेट्स मुझे मिला तो बिल गेट्स का पहला जो सेंटेंस था कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन इंडिया यू यू हैव डन गुड कोविड मैनेजमेंट एंड वैक्सीनेशन ड्राइव तब मुझे सेटिस्फेक्शन हुआ कि इंडिया ने करके दिखाया मैं जब गई तो पहले दिन दाऊद ने कहा नहीं इंटरव्यू नहीं मैं कहा अरे मैंने तो आपसे बॉम्बे में कहा था कि मुझे तो इंटरव्यू चाहिए ड्रग वाली इशू पे फिर उसने कहा नहीं हम खाना खाते हैं 
तो मैंने कहा चलो खाना के बाद दे देंगे पर नहीं दिया फिर दूसरे दिन वापस आई एक इंडिया में हवाला ऑपरेटर था बहुत बड़ा जो दाऊद का ऑपरेटर था वो वहाँ था उसका नाम था अब्दुल्ला तो उसको बिठाया मैं अच्छा अभी इसको बिठा के मुझे इंटरव्यू दे दो फिर उसने तो तो भी ना कहा फिर बातें बहुत करी उस दिन तो क्या हुआ कि मेरी ऐसे डायरी थी तो उसने डायरी नजदीक ली तो उसने एक्सेप्ट किया था तीन मर्डर जिसमें वो आलम से जिसमें मैं विटनेस थी वो भी बताया कैसे हुआ तो उसने कहा कि अगर मैं उसे नहीं मारता तो वो मुझे मार देता बोलो शीला जी आपको क्या लगता है मुझे नहीं मारना चाहिए ऐसे उसको मेरे पे ये विश्वास था कि मैं Uh, हिम्मत से लिखूंगी अगर वो जो बोल रहा है उस पर मैं उसको ट्विस्ट करूंगी नहीं और ही वॉज नॉट अभी एंटी इंडिया अभी तक uh, कि हो हाँ, चुका so था मैं ये बात बताना चाहती हूँ कैसे हुआ होगा कि मुझे लगता है पाकिस्तान ने उस पर काम किया है दुबई में हाँ आईएसआई ने और वो गालादारी जो थे उसके पार्टनर लोकल या तो स्पॉन्सर होंगे कांग्रेस गया था सॉरी जे एन यू गया था कांग्रेस भी जाता है वो थाईलैंड से जब वापस आता है जिस दिन वो जे <laughs> गया था वो टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग के बाद वो करने के लिए उस दिन से शहीन बाग पूरा फार्मर ब्लॉकेट कांग्रेस हैज बीन सपोर्टिंग एनआरकी यार no. कांग्रेस कैन डू एनीथिंग यू आर द होम मिनिस्टर यू आर एन पार योर ड्यूटी टू एक्ट इट इज योर धर्म टू एक्ट यस आई इट इज योर एंड द डे आई एम होम मिनिस्टर आई विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट मोर आई विल नॉट हैव द स्पाइन ऑफ अ मोल्टन डिक्लेअर दे वर ब्लॉकिंग अ रोड यू शुड हैव मूव्ड देम यू शुड हैव अलाउड यू शुड हैव टोल्ड देम गो सिट अ जंतर मंत्र गो सिट अ राम लीला में आई एम सॉरी दे एक्चुअली कैन नॉट इट विल गिव देम डिविडेंड्स द बीजेपी एक्ट दैट दे डिडंट डू एनीथिंग एक्चुअली रिजल्टेड इन दिस बैकफायर एज इट शुड हैव I was very happy when they lost that election so because it was a good very good very dangerous party very dangerous no no yes. yaar listen here is the problem you know again you are looking at what i have said in black and white see sometimes the uh, best mere problem mein kya karna sometimes the problem. best you can achieve anand is preventing the worst what was the worst the worst is this with a full majority you no. could do none of your promises the, the worst is rahul gandhi coming यू हैव रिटर्न इन द बुक अगर इतिहास लिखना है तो किसी को इतिहास बनाना पड़ेगा दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन वेन यू टॉक्ट अबाउट आर्टिकल थ्री सेवेंटी यू मस्ट हैव हैड सेवरल कॉन्वर्सेशन विद द पोलिटिकल लीडर्स एट दैट टाइम दिस वॉज ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवंथ ऑफ जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन होम मिनिस्टर हैड कम वेरी वेल प्रपेयर्ड एज टू वॉट ऑल द क्वेश्चन और द आंसर इज लुकिंग फॉर ही टॉक इन ग्रेट डिटेल अबाउट if we do something that if what can happen in the internal situation what can happen in the security forces what can happen on the line of control what are the options with pakistan how the civil unrest can happen because if you remember some former chief ministers that said khoon ki nadiyan beh jayengi tiranga ko kanda dene wala koi nahi hoga mutiny ho jayegi so all these issues were discussed and as to what can and all contingencies were also discussed what is the upper level of violence which can happen and other things finally he asked me so zimmedari kiski hogi i said sir uh, i assure you nothing will go wrong after this the preparations had to go on to maintain peace at the same time the maintain confidentiality of what's coming i always say only two and a half people in kashmir knew what's going to happen जो सक्सेसफुल आर्टिस्ट हैं वो जब आगे चले जाते हैं बॉम्बे फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में वो उनका हिस्सा बन जाते हैं जैसे कपिल शर्मा हो गए भारती हो गए डू दे कम बैक टू यू जब वापस आते हैं आपसे बात करते हैं हाँ डेफिनेटली दे कम हेयर कपिल शर्मा कुछ दिन पहले ही दो तीन दफ़ा हम हमें पता भी नहीं था रिहर्सल कर रहे थे और पीछे से आके वो बैठ के बीच में करने वो दिन याद करने लगे भारती तो वो हमारे वो जो है फिफ्टीन जो ईयर सेलिब्रेशन वो शी केम हेयर अगेन ऑन ट्वेंटी शी वॉज हेयर ना ऑन सिल्वर जुबली कपिल एंड भारती ऑल दे दे मेड ए प्रोग्राम टू कम हेयर बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम स्पेशल रीजन्स वो लिंक नहीं टूटता सक्सेस के बाद भी हाँ जी वो वो लिंक रह, कायम रहता है नहीं टूटता नहीं है वो कायम रहता है जी हाउ मेनी टाइटल्स हैव यू गॉड जीवन जोर जी यू कॉल्ड सुपर हीरो यू कॉल्ड वुमेन हीरो यू कॉल्ड ड्रैगन स्लेयर पीपल इन पंजाब नो यू एज पैड वुमेन आल्सो द सोशल वर्क इट स्टार्टेड इन द ईयर 95 फाइव व्हेन माय डैड स्टार्टेड एन एन जी ओ शी सोसाइटी सो माय मॉम स्टार्टेड अ स्कूल अंडर दैट एन जी एंड देन आई स्टिल रिमेंबर आई यूज टू गो देयर एज एन एज अ वॉलंटियर टू टीच द चिल्ड्रन देयर ऑन वीकेंड्स एंड देन यू नो अ फ्यू ईयर्स लेटर when those children when the girls especially they reached class 4 5 and 
सो आई स्टार्टेड नोटिसिंग दैट यू नो दैट एम्बेरसमेंट एंड दैट शेम जब उनको पीरियड्स आते थे स्पेशली एंड देन देअर मदर्स वर कॉल टू द स्कूल और वो छुपते छुपाते बच्चे को लेके जाना देन यू नो आई फेल्ट रियली बैड बिकॉज यू नो मुझे लगा कि इसके लिए कुछ करना चाहिए एंड आई स्टार्टेड विजिटिंग स्कूल इन एंड अराउंड अमृतसर एंड वी स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग अबाउट द टेबूज एंड बहुत सारा डेटा हमने कलेक्ट किया वी यूज टू गेट अ फॉर्म फिल्ड बाय दैन जब वो नंबर फाइव थाउजेंड हुआ वी स्टार्टेड टू रीड दोज फॉर्म्स एंड यू नो आई वॉज सो डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द गर्ल्स देयर हैड रिटर्न दैट वी डो नॉट हैव मनी टू बाई पैथ दैट वॉज द टाइम वेन आई वॉज टू डिसअपॉइंटेड एंड दैट वॉज वन बिगेस्ट चैलेंज कि अब क्या करूँ एन डी ए कह रहा था कि जब ये कोलेशन बना है तो इट इज अ रिएक्शन ऑफ फियर जब इंडिया के नुमाइंदों से बात करते तो वो कहते हैं कि एन डी ए जो है वो मर सा गया था आई सी यू में चला गया था और इंडिया के डर से एन डी ए फिर से आ गया है देखिए सारे विपक्ष सबको लगा कि इस समय जो मोदी और साकी जो जगरनाट चलते हैं हिंदुस्तान में जो त्राही त्राही मचा चुके हैं सबको रुकने के लिए अकेले दम पे ये रुक नहीं पाएंगे इसलिए सबको एकजुट होने जरूरी है ये आप जरूर कह सकते ये जरूरी है सबको एकजुट होना एकजुट रहना ये मजबूरी है जरूर मजबूरी है मजबूरी तो पॉलिटिक्स में तो मजबूरी जरूर रहते हैं कॉम्प्रोमाइज और मजबूरी जरूर है ये तो पॉलिटिक्स की पॉलिटिक्स की नियमों में नियमों के अंदर होते हैं मैं पिछले सवा छह वर्ष से अधिक समय से उत्तर प्रदेश का मुख्यमंत्री हूँ और दो से उत्तर प्रदेश में कोई दंगा तो नहीं हुआ ये बड़ी बड़ी बातें करने वाले लोग देखें तो कैसे चुनाव होने नगर निकाय का चुनाव और पंचायत चुनाव यूपी का विधानसभा का चुनाव यूपी का और वेस्ट बंगाल में भी पंचायत के चुनाव हुए थे क्या हाल हुए थे वे लोग वेस्ट बंगाल बनाना चाहते हैं देश को जिस प्रकार से वेस्ट बंगाल में भी टीएमसी की गवर्नमेंट ने किया था कुछ लोग सत्ता में आकर के जबरन पूरी व्यवस्था को कैद कर देना चाहते हैं और जो वेस्ट बंगाल में हमको देखने को मिला सबको कैसे वहाँ विरोधी दलों के कार्यकर्ताओं को मारा गया ये चीज़ें आँखों को खोलने वाली हैं इस पर तो कोई बोलता नहीं उन्नीस में कश्मीर में जो कुछ हुआ वो सब पे सब लोग मौन थे आखिर ये दोहरा दृष्टिकोण क्यों ज्ञानवापी काशी विश्वनाथ मंदिर इस प्रॉब्लम का कोई सोल्यूशन है अगर हम उसको मस्जिद कहेंगे तो फिर विवाद होगा मुझे लगता है कि भगवान ने जिसको दृष्टि दी है वो देखे ना त्रिशूल मस्जिद के अंदर क्या कर रहा है हमने तो नहीं रखे ना ज्योतिर्लिंग है देव प्रतिमाएं हैं पूरी दीवारें चिल्ला चिल्ला के क्या कह रही है और मुझे लगता है कि ये प्रस्ताव मुस्लिम समाज की तरफ से आना चाहिए कि साहब ऐतिहासिक गलती हुई है और उस गलती के लिए हम चाहते हैं समाधान हो इंडिया के बारे में आप क्या कहते हैं आई एन जो विपक्ष का बना है इंडिया नहीं बोलना चाहिए ये जो डॉट 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 ग्रुप है चोला बदलने से पिछले कर्मों से मुक्ति नहीं मिल जाएगी दिस अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ क्रिटिसिज्म दैट कम्स इन जैसे सिद्धरा मैया जी ने कहा कि ये जो यूनिफॉर्म एजुकेशन सिस्टम है ये हमारे कंट्री में लागू नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि हमारे यहाँ डाइवर्सिटी इतनी है और तमिलनाडु का भी कहना है कि ये एजुकेशन पॉलिसी जो है जो सेंटर थोप रही है स्टेट्स पर और हम अपना ही करेंगे तमिलनाडु तो हैज इवन गॉन टू कोर्ट ओवर दिस आपने दो राज्यों के नाम लिया मैं दोनों के अनुभव कहता हूँ और जो बात कह रहे हैं वो शायद एक राजनीतिक भाषा में वो कह रहे हैं वास्तविकता ऐसे नीचे नहीं है अब तक ये एक धारणा था कि हम रीजनल लैंग्वेज कहते थे प्रधानमंत्री जी ने आके कहा हमारे देश में कोई रीजनल लैंग्वेज नहीं है ऑल आर इक्वल एंड ऑल आर नेशनल लैंग्वेज बीट तमिल बीट कन्नड़ बीट उड़िया बीट बंगाली बीट पंजाबी बीट गुजराती बीट मराठी बीट हिंदी उन्होंने काशी में तमिल संगमम आयोजन करवाया तमिल कल्चरल लिंक तमिल और काशी की री इन्वेंट किया भाषा की कभी हमने किसी को हमारी सरकार की पॉलिसी है और एन उसको ही कह रहा है ऑल लैंग्वेज आर इक्वल मोदी जी कहते हैं कन्नड़ भाषा उतना ही महत्वपूर्ण है और कन्नड़ भाषा में ही प्रारंभिक दिनों में पढ़ाया जाए सिद्धारामा जी उसी को आपत्ति कर रहे हैं अगर मोदी जी कहते हैं कि भारतीय परंपरा में ही पढ़ाना चाहिए उसी का नाम है एन तो कर्नाटक की जो स्टोरी है मोरल्स है वो कर्नाटक की होगी ये एन ने कहा है क्या सिद्धरामया जी किसी को खुश करने के लिए सिर्फ मोदी विद्वेष में उसी को अपोज कर रहे हैं 
when I started my career in journalism 30 years ago, at that time we were doing this NRI Bahuwali story. The atrocities that these girls from Punjab face when they go abroad, when they get married, aake yahan se ladkiyan, utha ke le jate hain, wahan pe atrocities. That was a story that we covered as journalists. But there's a new phenomenon which is happening. Are you training your girls to watch out for those kind of scams? Of course, uh, just recently we held in um, a seminar in collaboration with National Commission for Women. It was uh, particularly on uh, scams in NRI marriages, you know, and how to watch out for all the red flags. And in fact, uh, one very good platform that the college provides is for all these initiatives, you know, uh, community development at a very broad level. Uh, we send our girls to old age homes. Uh, one thing that was there in the first panel discussion I really liked was talking about things, going out in the field and seeing how life is. That is our purpose. Let the girls go out and see how the real world is, not stay closeted in their classrooms. Congress ke Kamal Nath Ji ne kaha hai that women are not safe in Madhya Pradesh. Kamal Nath Ji ke mo se ye sobha is liye nahi deta ki jo hamari poor mantri ko item keh ke bulate hain, bhaashnoon mein aur phir haste hain. उनका महिलाओं के प्रति आदर से कोई लेना देना नहीं है लेकिन ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मध्य प्रदेश की सरकार है हमने मध्य प्रदेश में ये कानून सबसे पहले बनाया कि मासूम बिटिया के साथ अगर कोई दुराचार करेगा तो सीधे फांसी के फंदे पे जाएगा बम्बई सरकार उन पर 40 परसेंट का एलिगेशन किया था कांग्रेस ने और हर जगह पोस्टर छपवाए थे मध्य प्रदेश में भी उन्होंने कोशिश की थी कि पचास वाली सरकार करके पोस्टर खुद कमलनाथ जी करप्शन ना थे छापा पड़ा तो दो करोड़ कहाँ से निकले थे जो गले गले तक कमीशन और भ्रष्टाचार में डूबे हों उन भगवान भरोसा करेगा राहुल गांधी जब यहाँ आए थे तो उन्होंने तो कहा था कि कमलनाथ की सरकार आने वाली है ये तो तय है दिल बहलाने को गालिब ख्याल अच्छा है अब मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा कि राहुल जी कब परिपक्व होंगे कभी वो धान की रुपाई करने लगते हैं खेतों में जाके कभी बड़े विरक्त से लगते हैं जैसे बैरागी हो गए हों किसी चीज से कोई मतलब ही नहीं उनको सचमुच में अब परिपक्व हो जाना चाहिए उम्र भी अब कम नहीं है उनके इतनी आसानी से कह देना आप तो बन जाएंगे और कैसे बन जाएंगे मीडिया है वो कहती है कि अब बीजेपी तीन गुटों में बट गया है शिवराज भाजपा महाराज भाजपा और नाराज भाजपा ऐसा है कि काम के आधार पर तो कांग्रेस के लोग या हमारे प्रतिपक्षी मित्र हम पे कोई टिप्पणी कर नहीं सकते इसलिए शिवराज महाराज नाराज ऐसे शब्द घटते रहते हैं Were you hesitant at any point of time to experiment with the national anthem because you know sometimes there's a blowback. In my perspective, uh, I believe that uh, nobody respects the national anthem as much as I do. So that is why for me the national anthem is sacrosanct. It cannot be tampered with. It cannot be touched. It cannot be reinterpreted in your own style, um, which is not uh, respectful to the national anthem. So I believe that if I do a version of the national anthem. At least I believe that it'll never be controversial because I'm sure that it gets the respect so that it deserves. So, do you term it as an innovation, or what do you like to call your version of the national anthem? It is a different perspective, which is yet respectful to the national anthem. So, a respectful variation in perspective. Because when you listen to that instrumental version of the na- national anthem, you cannot, if you're an Indian, you cannot listen to that version of the national anthem without thinking of the words, you know. Yeah, and there's a beat to it, yes. which even if there is a slight variation. You catch on. You that catch on immediately because that's how much ingrained the national anthem is. And I say this time and again that every country has got a national anthem. Unlike India, in every country there is a slight amount of controversy associated with the national anthem. Yes. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. There is a political divide when it comes to the national anthem, or a few words that people do not like, and they say it's controversial. Hmm. Our Indian national anthem is revered by everybody. Your party ka kaun hoga chief minister candidate? Kamal Nath. दिग्विजय से खुद दिग्विजय सिंह कह चुके हैं कि कमलनाथ जी चीफ मिनिस्टर के कैंडिडेट होंगे जिस तरह आपने कहा कि शिवराज जी शायद लोग ऊब गए हों उनसे तो कमलनाथ जी से नहीं शिवराज जी में और कमलनाथ के विजन में बहुत अंतर है उनकी जो पॉलिटिकल जर्नी है और नरेंद्र मोदी जी की जो पॉलिटिकल जर्नी है सत्ता में सरकार चलाने की सीधे तीन गुना है और कमलनाथ जी ने जिस देश विदेश में जिस तरीके की जीनियस तरीके से अपने मंत्रालय चलाए शिवराज जी का कोई मुकाबला नहीं है कहाँ राजा भोज और कहाँ गंगू तेली अगर कमलनाथ जी की सरकार इतनी अच्छी थी तो फिर ज्योतिरादित्य छोड़ के क्यों चले गए ये ज्योतिराज से नहीं पूछा आपने कभी जिन मुद्दों पे जिन इश्यूज पे वो इन्वॉल्व होते थे हिस्सेदारी करते थे एकदम से एट ए टाइम क्या हुआ और फिर आपने अंदर बातें क्यों नहीं की बाहर क्यों की 
तो मैं सोचता हूँ मैं राहुल जी से भी रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि अब जो दल बदलेगा एक बार बदला तो एक चुनाव के लिए उसको स्किप करना चाहिए फिर वो चुनाव लड़ नहीं सकता है बहुत से लोग कहते हैं कि जिस तरह केजरीवाल जी अन्ना हजारे से दूर हो गए उसी तरह आप आनंद राय जी से दूर हो गए डॉक्टर आनंद राय का जयस में कोई भूमिका नहीं था न है नागे रहेगा कई लोग गए आए इस संगठन को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता हमने वैचारिक रूप से युवाओं को तैयार किया है हमने उनके जल जंगल जमीन की लड़ाई सदन के भीतर लड़ी है उनके दिलों में जगह बनाई है डॉक्टर आनंद राय कभी नहीं बना सकता थोड़े दिन पहले उन्होंने बी ज्वाइन करी गुलाबी गमछा डाल लिया उन्होंने तो वो तो जयस का पीला गमछा छोड़ चुके हैं उनको तो पीला गमछा डालने में शर्म आने लगी है आजकल अखबारों में आया है कि आप दिल्ली इसलिए आए हैं क्योंकि आपकी मीटिंग्स चल रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी के साथ और गृह मंत्री के साथ यूसीसी के बारे में यूसीसी एक ऐसा विषय है जिसको हमने 2022 में जब उत्तराखंड विधानसभा के चुनाव हो रहे थे उस चुनाव में उत्तराखंड की देवतुल्य जनता के सामने ये प्रस्ताव हमने रखा था कि नई सरकार के गठन होते ही हम जो है उत्तराखंड में यूसीसी लागू करने के लिए कमेटी का गठन करेंगे और उसके पीछे हमने ये भी कहा था कि उत्तराखंड देवभूमि है दो दो अंतर्राष्ट्रीय सीमाओं से लगा हुआ प्रदेश है इस राज्य के अंदर रहने वाले हर एक व्यक्ति के लिए किसी पंथ का हो किसी जाति का हो किसी समुदाय का हो सबके लिए हम एक समान कानून जो है यहाँ लाएंगे उसके लिए कमेटी बनाएंगे मैं नमन करना चाहता हूं देवभूमि उत्तराखंड की जनता का कि उन्होंने हमारे इस प्रस्ताव पर और अपना मैंडेट दिया अपना आशीर्वाद दिया और हमने सबसे पहला काम यही किया कि यूसीसी के लिए आ, कमेटी का गठन कर दिया मेन पॉइंट बट सी पैक गोदार इज रियली हाउ चाइना हैज टेकन ओवर द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इन पाकिस्तान एंड पाकिस्तान डज नॉट हैव टू मैनी चॉइस एंड हाउ डू दे मैनेज इट दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज गोइंग अप and one uncertainty which uh, we got them can uh, tell us a little more the chinese economy itself is slowing down yeah could you yeah. Uh, tell me there is no doubt that there's a very severe slow down in the chinese economy and that as a result of that the chinese economy is facing huge problems and we have been seeing more of the problems over the past few weeks in the past the chinese used to overcome these problems by spending their way out of the problem but today with their domestic debt being very very high almost 300% of gdp they are not even able to spend their way out of trouble and use it to produce and manufacture more in infrastructure so china seems to be in a little bit of a problem hmm. uh in my opinion the problem is as follows but i, I you know it's not that i'm advising xi jinping on it because if he's making mistakes i will let him make those <laughs> yeah. mistakes but that's china can eat for you <laughs> <laughs> उस ट्वीट के बारे में कहूंगी जिसमें आपने प्रधानमंत्री जी और होम मिनिस्टर को धन्यवाद किया कि मेरे जन्मदिन वाले दिन ही आपने छापे मारे हैं अभी तक के 200 से अधिक छापे पड़ चुके हैं हमारे ईडी आईटी डीआरआई पूरे छत्तीसगढ़ में और पिछले दिनों कांग्रेस का राष्ट्रीय महाधिवेशन भी छत्तीसगढ़ में हुआ था उस समय जो लोग व्यवस्था से जुड़े थे उन्हीं के घरों में छापा डाले कुछ घर में तो बिना ई नंबर के उन्होंने हमारे कार्यकर्ताओं का छापा डाला क्योंकि उनको बाधित करना था महाधिवेशन को इसमें भी वो लोग जो अभी मेरे जन्मदिन के दिन बहुत सारे कार्यक्रम हुए तो जो लोग उसको ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे थे उसके घर में जाग बैठ गए ईडी वाले मुझे पता भी चला कि आप लोग छापा डालने वाले हैं तो आज करेंगे क्या तो बोले आज नहीं कल तेईस तारीख है कल करेंगे तो ये सूचना भी थी तो मैंने कहा भाई ठीक है तो प्रधानमंत्री जी को धन्यवाद दिया कि आपने बढ़िया गिफ्ट दिया मुझे आपने ये भी कहा कि छापेमारी जो आपके यहाँ हो रही है ये इसलिए हो रही है क्योंकि पाटन में वो जीत नहीं सकते जहाँ पर उन्होंने दुर्ग के सांसद और आपके जो भतीजे हैं विजय भागेल उन्हें खड़ा किया है बिल्कुल सही बात है क्योंकि कई दौर के बैठक उन्होंने की किसको लड़ाना है किसको लड़ाना है अंत में फिर उसे तय किया गया लेकिन अभी तक हम लोग समझते रहे कि विजय बघेल ही प्रतिद्वंदी होगा लेकिन 23 तारीख की घटना के बाद पता चला कि असली जो प्रतिद्वंदी है वो ईडी और आईटी है चुनाव पाटन में वही लोग लड़ेंगे आई एम गोइंग टू कोट इन दिस इन विच शी से पीटर एंड आई हैड गॉन टू मीट पी चिदम्बरम एंड अ डील हैड बीन स्ट्रक मनी वाज गिवन टू कार्ती आई वाज हैविंग दीज कॉन्वर्सेशंस विद पीटर दैट एट सम पॉइंट और द अदर वी नीड टू कम आउट विद दिस एंड जो 4 5 मंथ्स लेटर I am arrested. The case was not a CBI case. case. Sheena's case was Same. Mumbai police, and it was headed by Rakesh Maria. Maria. Now, when I look back, I'm convinced that 
somebody didn't want me to speak did you suspect that there was a plot there was a conspiracy it was more of my conversations with peter that led me to understand that he knew about my arrest we have china in our backyard an aggressive antagonistic china and we have a friend in russia so we live in this neighborhood the american interest in this region has been served neither by uh, china nor by russia it's been served by pakistan who's been our enemy number 1 uh, uh, what is your view on this what well, we we need new alignments right the old alignments have changed uh, you know china's aggression at the same time china's huge economic power we really cannot predict what the dictators uh, will do what their policies are going to be and so we democracies need to stick together whether it is india or whether it is uh, united states you know not everything that india does is something that united states will will want but at the same time there needs to be a mutual respect uh, and a very strong trusting relationship let's just begin first with udaynidhi's comment why do you think he suddenly spoke about this he said what he said because that was the theme of the conference people have latched on to his statement but the fact that there is a platform that has been put together how different is it this is worse than the anti hindutva conference that was being organized or that was organized in the us so you have to realize there are quite a few issues at play here one 2024 obviously i.n.d.i.a right that's the other issue so clearly the the opposition or the coalition that they've put together has this as their stated agenda uday nidhi has talked about sanatan but if they have been in power for so many years in one form or the other they haven't been able to do anything but ever since the rise of dravidian ideology the number of cases of the scsts and the kind of atrocities that they've been subjected to by people who claim to fight in their name let us actually undertake a clear study has the rise of dravidianism translated to re- reduction in violence against these groups who is responsible for the commission of this violence people who are less than 2 and 1/2% of the population in tamil nadu today who have never wielded the weapon which is the tamil brahmins or others it's mighty convenient to constantly paint the brahmin as this venomous snake there was this uh, dravidianist poet bharathidasan who basically came out with this saying that if you see a snake and you see a brahmin kill the brahmin first in your uh, career you've played with so many legends mm. playing with legends from india tell me about those which ones would stand out of course you will say sachin tendulkar so obviously because yeah. they say sachin mm-hmm. tendulkar modern god of <laughs> cricket see only thing is why he said is no cricketer can be like sachin because 14 years getting a, a first class 100 and playing seven people for, in mumbai are national players getting mm-hmm. a chance into that and getting a 100 and debut 100 oh, he got in the debut 16 years he represent the country 17 years he gets the 100 for them that is impossible they are those are kids mm. and playing vaka yunus and wasi makram at the peak at 16 years you imagine nowadays 16 years playing bradley impossible mm. so more than his records and everything and also carrying the shoulders of billion people mm. it is something special because not for one year 25 years ye ye bharat india india bharat नाम बदल रहे हैं इस बार इसको आप ऐसे समझिए लोग कहते हैं इंडिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में इंडिया भारत दोनों लिखा है तो अगर हम भारत यूज कर रहे हैं तो व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम चलिए आप कहेंगे संविधान में दोनों हैं पर आजादी के बाद भारत आया है ना तो भारत आया तब जब भारत स्वतंत्र हुआ इंडिया तब भी था जब ब्रिटिश काल था तो इसलिए अगर हम ये कहें कि ट्रांसलेशन तो भारत और इंडिया बराबर है पर राहुल गांधी ने तो नहीं कहा ट्रांसलेशन की लड़ाई है राहुल गांधी ने तो कहा आइडिया की लड़ाई है और आइडिया में इंडिया का आइडिया और भारत के आइडिया में जमीन आसमान का अंतर है भारत का आइडिया क्या है भारत जो ज्ञान के प्रकाश के अनुसंधान में निरंतर लगा हुआ है दैट विच इज इन परपीचुअल परस्यूट ऑफ नॉलेज इसीलिए अनादिकाल से यहां पर सब लोग नॉलेज के लिए आते थे दैट वाइब्रेशन इज भारत और इंडिया क्या है सबसे पहले वर्ड आता है थर्ड सेंचुरी बीसी में मेगस्थनीज आता है चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य के समय में अपनी किताब लिखता है इंडिका यानी इंडस रिवर के इधर के साइड के पोर्शन को कहा गया इसका मतलब इंडिया इज अ जोग्राफिकल कोनोटेशन एंड भारत इज अ स्पिरिचुअल कोनोटेशन मतलब हर कन्वेंशन और ट्रेडिशन को चेंज कर रहे हैं विच डजेंट सूट द बीजेपी ये एलिगेशन है जी ना? नहीं हर कन्वेंशन और ट्रेडिशन जिसे डिस्टॉर्ट किया गया था उसे लाइन पे ला रहे हैं it's there in your in christianity in islam in all religions that religious congregations are held and many people go there why are you uh, so against 
uh, these kind of congregations. But faith gives strength. Blind faith weakens people. I feel very strongly that one of the biggest damage done to India has been done by our media. Any time, whether the print media or electronic media, to turn the TV on, what do you see? There is a Guruji, Babaji, Swamiji sitting there with saffron or white clothes or whatever and few tilaks here, fully tilaks there. And he says, horoscope. And Guruji has a laptop. And he does tick, 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 tick. And he says, so Mangal mein bad gaya, Mangal Buddh mein bad gaya, Buddh Brasti mein bad gaya, Palana bad gaya. Ah, Manglik, 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 Manglik ho gaya, Manglik ho gaya. Now the guy is scared. How do I get rid of the Manglik business here? Arre, kele ke pair se shadi kar lo, people ke pair se shadi kar lo. Then he says, Shani chad gaya, Shani chad gaya, Shani chad gaya. To bole, Shani ko utarne ka upai kya hai? Bole, kala rumal lo. Usme kali dal dalo. Phir kala kajal lagao. फिर काले बाल वाला खोजो सात बारी भोपड़ी में घुमाओ काला कुत्ता खोजो काला बर्तन खोजो दिस इज वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इफ इट इज सो ईसी टू गेट शनि इन शनि आउट शनि इन शनि आउट वाई डोंट वी सेंड शनि टू पाकिस्तान एंड डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल द टेररिस्ट देर मरवा दो इफ इट इज सो ईजी टू गेट शनि इन शनि आउट वाई डोंट वी सेंड शनि टू लद्दाख चाइना से लड़वा दो the first meeting that you had with vikram sarawal our young viewers and listeners would want to know that i was working uh, with kalam and the assignment given to me at that time was designing an explosive bolt so i was busy drawing myself on the table so somebody walked in he put a chair and then sat down there i saw him he looked like a hindi film star he just asked uh, may i know your name I just looked at him. I didn't know. I said, "Nambi Narayanan." He said, "May I know what you are doing?" I said, uh, "Before I answer this question, may I ask you who you are?" <laughs> <laughs> And he said, "They call me Vikram." And I was uh, familiar with Sarabhai, but not the name Vikram. Didn't sound anything to me. But behind him. Kalam and Hajjes Murthy he was the director. They both were showing me like this hand. I was wondering what is a signal? Is it asking me to get up or asking me to go there or whatever it is? But I didn't. Hmm. So the Kalam came and said, "Do you know who he is?" I said, "I don't know. He looks like a Hindi film star." <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Then Kalam told me, "This is Vikram Sarabhai." Yeah. That is my first meeting with him. Click here to watch the previous episodes.